This is Jonah Hill, and you're listening to the only podcast that matters. Throw gang, we are joined by the princess of print, media's first micro mogul. These goods were made for walking, and that's just what she'll do. Extra, extra, read all about it. Drunken Canal, the New York Times, suck our downtown dicks. The Sultana of Servos, if she may speak freely, that's like the freaky DK local Kiki Speakeasy, queen of the camp counselors, owner of the most in demand box in town, vagina joke, co founder and co editor of the Drunken Canal. Goots Guterman, Goots, how the hell are you? Amazing. Yeah, After that, 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 yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, I'm Thank doing fucking great. Oh yeah, that's right. We oh, you fully antioxidant. Yeah, blew it up. Yeah, blew I have to, to the gills. I have to take care of the people in my life. So I love the guest that comes bearing gifts because we yeah. brought you a diet coke. <laughs> it's nice that there's a two-way you burn 20 pounds of blueberry <laughs> and a uh, seafood tower tea that yes, we made like nine months ago yeah. <laughs> super exclusive what's who's your blueberry what's his name the friend oh my friend cam thank you cam thank you cam, cam. Just, just a humble blueberry farmer yeah just a humble blueberry guy <laughs> it's honest work <laughs> uh, you already asked about this and you seemed anxious about the fit check and this is exciting for me because I feel like people don't know that you're an extreme or maybe people do know you're extremely fashionable. Well, and thank I, you. I say that thinking directly of the fit you rolled up to the barbecue in the <laughs> red ensemble looking like fucking Akira or Kanye. <laughs> yeah, some shit. <laughs> Honestly, Kanye, literally. Yeah, literally, like literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we'll talk this about. Is Gap I did Gucci. it first. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Gucci. Uh, and we'll talk about the barbecue in a bit. But let's get started with the fit check. You're going to walk the audience at home mm -hmm. through the totality of your very intentional fit that you wore today. The choice for you is, do you want to start top down or bottom up? Fuck. I literally meant. I like. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 50, you got a 50 50 shot. I know. Yeah. I have a 50 50 shot You're of getting it right. And yeah. I literally was like, don't fuck this one up. You better remember it. Um, I'm going to go bottom up. Correct. But, okay. Oh, Not thank God. God. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> she was almost canceled. <laughs> um, okay. So my fit. Uh, my fit check all is are bastards yeah. <laughs> is um true. <laughs> we all are. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. Um, so I'm wearing a pair of Prada boots I mean, that you said were completely shredded. Yes. So I was actually putting on a different pair of boots are on my way here. Vintage? They are vintage. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, they are falling apart, but I needed the tall boots right. for the fit sure. and the ones I was putting on the zipper broke. So boots and boots. Fuck, what uh, do I do? Right. Uh, what is the season? Do we know? Or the year? No, uh, I don't care. Yeah. Where do you get them from? What the shop? real real. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a little store called the real real. You might have you seen my Visage on a real real commercial? commercial? Apparently it's on Hulu. I have not. I'm on Hulu. Yeah. Well, I don't like watch things. Yeah, no. so. Oh, you're one of those I don't own a TV. I, I did own a TV until a long time ago. Wait, I didn't even finish my fit check. Oh, we're we're gonna, this is going to take like 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. okay, okay we're okay. in it for the long haul. Um, you're, gooted, I, you're gooted and booted. Yes. I'm gooted and booted. Um, <laughs> <Good title. laughs> and uh, after that, I am wearing a skirt that I bought on Amazon.com. Nice. nice. Shout out Lord Bezos. Yes. yes. Um, I was. Congrats, King. <laughs> I <You> made it. <laughs> I didn't start buying clothes off Amazon until recently. Really? What was the rationale behind the change? Um, the I did an interview with my friend Honor and she was like, I buy all my clothes off Amazon. And I was like, I wow. never really thought to do that. A, war a true warrior of the culture. <laughs> So I did it. This is Honor um, Levy. Yes, Levy Levy Levy. Okay, she's like a writer. Yes, she's in the she's in the scene. She's in the scene. I know what the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Know you're you're shout in out the Honor know. for supporting him. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Honor yeah, for that. Making, yeah, a, being a great influence. Your friends. <laughs> so now you shop exclusively on Amazon. No, God, no. <laughs> Just for my skorts and basics. Skorts and right. toilet paper. Yeah, 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 that too. Um, <laughs> then I'm wearing a corset. Mm -hmm. From very fancy Med Gala vibes. Yes, mm. uh, Kristen Mailson, I think is her name. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a wonderful corset. I bought it from this store called Annie Zibisa. Are they are corsets like? Is it uncomfortable to wear? I mean, I think like halfway through this, I'm probably gonna like lo loosen, loosen it up. up. Let yeah, it loose. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, once I get yeah, well, once I get a, once I get a little more comfortable, I'm right. just gonna whoop uh, pull when the cacti string. starts hitting. Yeah, when the cacti starts hitting the strawberry flavored cacti. Um, <laughs> what do you think? That's first, we'll, first. Uh, oh yeah, um, cacti check. Oh, here we go. Little review. Little ASMR. Um. Ass. <laughs> yeah, it's dog shit. It's the worst <laughs> it's one. Ass. I mean, I would. I. <laughs> do I mean to muddle it, some blueberries? Maybe we do glass? not need to go that okay. far. Yeah. <laughs> um, in terms of the hard seltzer game, I'm, I personally think that this is mid. So oh, mid I mean, year. It's yeah, fruit smash or nothing. Right. I mean, I don't really fuck with hard seltzer. What's your go-to bevy? A uh, wine. Yeah. Wine. Wine. Natural I mean, preferably, yeah, but I'll do all sorts. We have a uh, jarred. We have <laughs> one last bottle that we could crack mid pod, courtesy of a former guest, Jonah yeah. Weiner. Oh, yeah. I just I was just messaging Jonah. Mr. Mr. Blackbird Spy. Yes, yes, so honestly, yes. That would be a great way to kind of put a bow on that care package. Remember, well, you let us know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll no let you know. Rush. Maybe once once I get through the cacti or if I can't <laughs> get can. through right. the cacti. But I don't like it because God's like the ingredients are just like they're always just like alcohol. Sure. And I'm like, yeah. what does that no, mean? This is supposed to be like... No, I've watched enough TikToks to know oh, you're, to know you're the woke. truth That's about cacti. Yeah. Is, what's, in <laughs> is what's in my boobs. Well, yeah. yeah. What's your TikTok algo looking like these days? Um a lot of hard seltzer talk. Like yeah, apparently. It's like God, I don't even know because I like to hate watch a lot of things. Mm, don't we all? So uh, it's it's pretty That's why like listen to this pod right now. <laughs> it's pretty like basic. Um it's a lot of people dancing. Oh, really? Yeah, so I like very much like Gen Z. It's shit. very Gen like hot Z. Nineteen year olds. Yeah, are they sexy at least? Yeah, but then also I get a lot of like bridesmaids. <laughs> Do you get a lot of uh, <laughs> hidden gems in New York? Oh yes, yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah. Say, like those hidden gems, like, like those TikToks yeah, that are no, like, like, look at yeah. this street that no one yeah. knows about, and it's like, dude, don't fucking blow up the spot, you what idiot. Is this, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like Broadway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, like have you heard of yeah. Canal Street? Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, I do get a lot of those. I also love to watch those. Are you on TikTok? Like, do you have, do you create content? I mean, like. Not very well. Is the drunken canal on TikTok or no? Just, just me. You guys, yeah. I feel like are light on social. It's more about this yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. I don't to right. experience our universe. Versus yeah, like oh, I don't read it. I just follow them on IG. Your IG is pretty dry. Exactly, it's very dry. Yeah, 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 you're yeah. all IG, no audience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, yeah. We are a meme account with the podcast. <laughs> the other, it's the other end of these. Yeah, things. it's 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 funny actually. Like someone was trying to like comp dinner for us or something they're like okay but you have to do like four slides on like stories on whatever. the grid and we're like or, okay. guys we don't post on instagram yeah, right. like you obviously don't know the brand very sure. well we just sometimes Can like you to like get the comp though did you take the dinner um it's it's happening oh, it is. Soon. Okay. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. um respect <laughs> we, are you getting a lot of that like people being like yo can you come through and like because all no, I part don't. Of the Gooch brand is like going out and like being a gourmand eating. Yeah, fine, it's a fine big dining. cosign. I feel like you bring like that, you know. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Do you get spots I mean, hitting up? You're like, yo, come through. We'll get you drinks. We'll get you dinner. Um, sometimes, but I think because our social media is so dry and like we rarely post, not that much. Like we get sent like booze sometimes, right. but and we'll totally like share when we do. Um, hashtag ad. Yeah, yeah. Hashtag ad. <laughs> um, but for the most part. Not really. Like we recently went to Damaka and oh, what do you think? oh it was great. So it was amazing. Good. Vibes were a little weird. We sat inside. Um the outside seemed way better for yeah. vibes. But um but you're on like Delancey, it's like loud and you're in that fucking. Yeah, but I don't shit. you know, the lighting is better. The lighting inside is like not my favorite. Anyways, that's just like getting into the nitty gritty. Criticism from someone who's not posting on the grid. <laughs> You know what? I you can go and enjoy things without putting them on the yeah, outside. Sure about that. <laughs> or you can wear an outfit without having your wife take a no, photo. No. <laughs> but that being said, we did post like on our way here to try it, just because like we wanted to like boost this right. place up, and everyone was like, How is it? Like we got tons of DMs like flooding mm. it, and we were so like, then it becomes oh. customer service kind of. Yeah, and then did we were they were they no, they, they had no idea we were there. Oh, they didn't care. No, no, no. We, the goodness of your heart. yeah, we were just like, fuck it. This place seems like awesome. It's, it's, it's more fun like, to do that kind of shit when you're not, when you don't have to, right? Yeah, like, like obligation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then the same thing. Yeah, you know, and like we'll do it to like boost our homies and stuff. Our friends, like of when course. they release something, are we're like, are you gonna post swipe about up? This podcast episode? Yeah, we can do a little swipe uh, up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I, the coolest thing about getting to 10,000 followers was the swipe, swipe up. up. <laughs> and I was up like, top, yeah. Do you guys care about the blue check or you don't give a shit? No, we are actually like anti blue check. Really? Oh. Yeah. Big well, talk from someone without a blue check. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking okay, I did try to, shit. I did try to get my own personal account verified and that didn't go through. Did you like apply like you like submitted a photo of your driver's license? Yes, yeah. 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 And worry, apparently I was I was not cool yeah. enough. Um but we'll text Dennis Chad. to disco. <laughs> hit up Chad yeah. who's never failed to get anyone we asked verified. So if you really want, if you listen. I don't like really want I thought it would be funny if Claire and I, who's for those don't know, mm-hmm. my co editor at the Drunken yes, Canal. Co editor, co founder Claire. Claire. Dwayne read official um we thought it would be really funny if we were verified but drunken canal well, like wasn't as a, as like a bit, as a bit. It's just, so, is verified right yeah but okay. we were both verified well i don't know about you but i was definitely verified i also don't give a fuck about <laughs> yeah. okay the only reason i want it is because i heard your dms go to the top of people's inboxes oh, really? when no you're way. verified oh really that's really Damn. good for thirsting after free product yeah. and brand <laughs> that, that's date- true I mean, that's what I heard. This you guys da- are verified, not me. This is dangerous for all the women I follow on Instagram. <laughs> I'm gonna have to DM Goots. We'll do a test. We'll see if mm. I pop. Them. Yo, yeah, I mean yeah, yeah. that. That's prime real estate. I mean, not getting buried with a bunch of fucking troglodytes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what with that's what I snipes, heard. Yeah. But yeah. I don't. Yeah, yeah. 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 And that. apparently on Twitter, there's like a whole tab or something. Too. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You yes, can yes, do like yes, only verified. Yeah. So you're a good Twitter follow, but we'll let you plug all your social media at the end of the show. So moving up from. The corset, which we acknowledged is uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. It is. And then we got all distracted again. Um, and it's then happen a lot in the next. What about, no, these, that's what about great. Hours? these beautiful pearls? These beautiful pearls were a gift from my friend Owen. I can't remember the brand. They're real. I mean, I would guess so. I mean, Owen's ball, like <laughs> factor cap. I think it's a, it's this brand that starts with like an e. It's like il, ilu, il, uh, something like that. It's pretty swagged out. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm I mean, I normally have like. I have about three or four pearl necklaces that I alternate. Uh, but not all at once. You're not like drenched. Yeah. Sometimes, like, that rocky? sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I like the last week I was rocking two at once. I was wa- rocking this like three layer pearl with this one. Ooh, um, yeah, but okay, then it off, broke. Oh, oh, that sucks. Did they like, no, no, no. Thank God. Just the class. Okay. Yeah. No. Can, with pearls, I can imagine that would be like a. I have disaster. broken pearl necklaces and they just like roll around everywhere. And my cat like runs around like <laughs> whacking it. And I'm like, dude, stop. Like I. Sensory these, overload. These are, these are expensive little toys that you're sure. throwing yeah, you know, under my couch. Is a good, good TikTok yeah. idea. That's What'd you say? Hearing. All I'm hearing is just a good TikTok content opportunity. All I'm hearing? All I'm hearing. Oh, all you're hearing. The cat and the pearls. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's great. But she's pearls she, before she likes to keep a low profile on TikTok. Oh, your yeah. cat does. That's, mm-hmm. good. that's good to know. She's not ready for the spotlight. She's not that's ready for it like that. Is she verified on yeah. Instagram? <laughs> she's not, but she does have an Instagram. Ooh, she does. Yeah. Little feline fin stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't really like... I'm, I'm just like... I'm like it. bad... I'm like incredibly online, but I'm really bad at like interesting using it for myself. Like if that makes sense. Speaking? Yeah. Like I don't really yeah. post that much, like unless it's like selfies or something. Do you have a preferred social media platform? And can I guess? Sure. You can I guess. Guess, it's I guess Twitter. Twitter. I think that that's definitely my favorite because it's word based sure. and like a lot more fun. And you are a wordsmith. Of yeah. Course. And, but I like Instagram because deep down inside, I am a little narcissistic and a little vain. And, um, (laughs) welcome sister. (laughs) And I don't really feel comfortable like posting pictures on Twitter for some reason. So, um, Twitter is about the, the pen. It's about, yeah, Yeah, it's about the thought process. Like Instagram is just like, Look how like hot I am. Pixels. Yeah. Yeah. Right, sure, yeah. Totally. It's, <laughs> it's yeah. a game of it's this is pen versus pixels. <laughs> yeah, it's literally pen versus pixels. So okay. yeah. And um let's talk about the rest of the jewelry because you got a beautiful ring, you got oh, some yeah. earrings. Oh yeah, I have a blazer oh, too. Right. So why don't we let's because the blazer is very interesting. It is. There's a bunch of applique letters all over. Yes. I bought it in Brussels for a euro. They have like... And euro? One single euro. Because they have this like Goodwill type store and at the end of every month... (laughs) Goodwill. That was bad. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. pushing. Don't quit your day job. (laughs) We'll we'll time stamp that. Not a a wordsmith. (laughs) Listen, there's a reason... I run the newspaper. Right, right, right. <laughs> that's a trick. Yeah, right. I'm right. totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. Um, but yeah, they have this Goodwill type store, and 
at the end of every month to clear out their inventory to bring in the new every inventory, they go like four euros, three euros, two euros, one. Oh, and I happen to like walk fire. in on the one euro so like day. So crazy markdowns. Crazy markdowns. Damn. And so my friend Zanz and I just like bought a shit ton of stuff for a euro each. And this blazer was one of them. And it's like my favorite Is there a blazer. Brand? What do the no. letters mean? It's I don't like, know. It's, it's like pretty a, there's unhinged. A, there's, a, there's a question mark or something. There's, on there's it? an exclamation there's, there's point. There's a K and an ellipsis, there, an exclamation mark. There's like an M. There's is an it, is F. Is teach Europeans the American alphabet? I yeah, like, literally don't know what it means. Um, let's see. Yeah, question mark. X dot dot X, dot. dot, dot, dot M. It's weird, but I love it. Yeah, great. Um, like like kind of mother of pearl buttons. It looks like. Yeah, too. and I think pretty I'm, good deal for Euro. I know. I might even upgrade the buttons. I was thinking. Oh, yeah, those, I had those that are thought. Thin, but they are kind of. And nice. like someone obviously sewed them on. Sure. Like sure, the thread sure. doesn't match. You know. What does the tag say? Is there? Is there Helen? A Helene? Helene. Yeah, someone do your Googles. Who knows what the fuck that's all about? Yeah, I don't know, but it's, it's cool. cool. Talk about a statement piece. Yeah, exactly. But it's subdued. You yeah, know what I mean? it's well, like if you, it's like if you notice the letters, <laughs> it's a cool blazer. Well, and if not, you don't, by the way, no one is not noticing the letters. You look like the goddamn Riddler, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Or the was the guy who sells like the real estate? Oh, uh, no, no, it's like uh, it's like, like get rich quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that motherfucker. Yeah. That oh like my god. Yeah. yeah, that's that's the vibe. And the for rest sure. of the jewels, back, baby. the rest of the jewels. Um, two rings, earrings. Two rings, earrings. That's like an engagement ring, but not an engagement. I got it for my. I really like this one. Yeah, this one's nice. I stole it from my mother. Swag. Yeah, it's pretty Your mom's swaggy. Got great taste. She's got a mate. I swear, like rose, rose gold. Yeah, it's like rose gold. And like chain link kind of, yeah. um, it's awesome. It's I think. It's, does your mom know you have it? Yeah, 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 oh. yeah, 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 yeah. She does. She does. She. I get like all I didn't know my. She, she got got by the Riddler. No, you know, I yeah. get all my like really nice things from my mother. Like my bag too is from my mother. Oh, yeah, like, what, what's yeah, the bag? What's the... It's an Hermes bag. Oh, 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 good thing we didn't miss that. Uh, the H is silent. Yeah. Baby Birkin. It's not. No, God, no. It's like a canvas it's nice. bag, it's a but great it's nice. Summer bag. It's a great summer bag. My laptop fits in there. Mm. All my shit fits in there. Your blue berries fit in there yeah. along with my bag of cherries and my notebook like it's Our merch will fit in there probably yeah. <laughs> yeah. the that's a nice little hermes fucking yeah cachet. it's, well, it's real cachet. nice unless we forget the panties the, oh i'm not wearing any oh all right <laughs> Respect. i think the first guest maybe we ask every guest male or female yeah. you know we don't yeah. fucking, you want that you want that jeff bezos yeah yeah. The fucking, yeah, yeah all up in every yeah. fucking cranny that Amazon uh, store yeah. is fucking earning its keep yeah, yeah. exactly what about exactly the speed shades because you have on some oh, very yeah. aggressive oh i found those in my house and i brought those solely like for the the picture we're gonna mm. take Did some like gentleman caller leave those um <laughs> i was definitely not a gentleman caller it was my friend zan oh, okay. thank okay. you zans i have your sunglasses yeah. The, tr um, the truth is out, Zans. We yeah, have the, yeah, we have the yeah, shades. Yeah. Um, the Riddler's holding them hostage. But I was like, I'm not putting on makeup today, so we're going to put on glasses gotcha. for gotcha. the for the pay. Do you normally right. like, no, are you one of those types like, I'm not going to leave the house without makeup? No, or? no. I leave the house without makeup all the time. Strictly natty glow. Um, yeah. yeah, but I was just like. Fuck it. I have really bad bags under my eyes because I just rolled off it. Only yeah, I just rolled off an airplane. I some, uh, I, actually, right now, Goose is full Joker makeup. Yeah. Well. It's actually, it's actually I'm fucking scary. lying to you all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Imagine I just pulled up in that. I mean, shit, dude. You, you want to know how guess. I got these bars? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. And then I guess the earrings also moms or those are. Uh, I think I got these for my 18th birthday. Okay. How old yeah. are you? I'm 24. Very Damn. young, very successful woman. Enjoy it. Yeah. Enjoy it. It's like it's a get, great it age. Yeah. Yeah. It gets worse. Shit sucks. I was really excited to turn 24. Really? <laughs> as opposed to 23, because I was like, I think people might take me a little more seriously. You think 24 is like the line of demarcation of like. No, but now that I'm 24, I realize that's wrong. Yeah. Well, 24 is like mid 20s. Also, you can rent it when you turn 25. You can rent it. Yeah, I'm excited five. for 25. 25 feels like a I think, thing. I think that that's going to be like my prime. Yeah. Maybe. Not now? You don't think you're... you're, you're I prime? think I maybe Absolutely. am in my prime also. Yeah, but like I get I get nervous to you're say that. You're on the cusp of, of big things is what I would say. I so would hope so. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. not cresting. <laughs> it's not like us. Like we crested like 28 and now we're just yeah. on the fucking <laughs> Slow, <laughs> awful decline. Yeah. It's not great. And how does that feel? Trash. Like shit. Thanks for asking. <laughs> My knees hurt. Um, I might have to stand halfway through this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Dizzying highs, terrifying lows. Right. You know, somewhere in between. Right. Well, it is what it is. I believe that is a complete fit oh, yeah. check. That does cover the fit chat. Got it. Nailed it. Um, Goots, thank you for coming on to the only podcast 
Matters. Well, thank like you, you for said, having you are me. An incredibly successful young woman. Um, we're eager to kind of explore your journey, what yeah. you got going we on. Dig into it. But first and foremost, we want to talk about ourselves. Mm -hmm. You attended the social event of the season. <laughs> I did. The TFBBBQ. <laughs> Throw Chella. Yeah. Some have been called. Uh -huh. yeah, exactly. Throw um, Chella. Right. Yeah. I didn't get that memo, but that's <laughs> yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> Thank you for coming. What was your impression of the Franklin yeah. Barbecue? Because you were the first guest post BBQ. Um, I pulled up and it was raining. Yes. Yeah, but I had my rain did look fit on. Yeah. Um, it was fun, I rain. think. I love the rain. Really? I love rain. Yeah. I Is that like your natural habitat? You're an amphibious creature? I guess so. I like like being inside wet, while muddy. it's raining. Does I like being outside. Like you're in a movie? It makes me feel like Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> is she known for frolicking in the rain? Yes. Oh, I mean, okay. she's from London. Sure. That's true. That's and fair. she was like, I mean, I, I like binge watched The Crown. That's great show. And it's like the one show that I've like watched in the last year, which is pretty random that it was the crown but um yeah she was always like stomping through the hills oh, in, right. in her barber boots. And do it, like, yeah amazing, like, and Hunter that is boots. like so yeah. my vibe okay i like to like overdress for every occasion but you like can find me like knees deep in the mud like yeah. on I don't a think hike anyone, and if, if there's one thing that you probably couldn't overdress for it's the throw I mean, yeah I mean, was <laughs> but it was great um Good I held good. an umbrella for Shy's Burgers for a little bit. Oh, you were like uh, doing the Fonsworth Bentley thing. Yes, yeah, like so like that it so that the rain wouldn't get on That's it. That's your boy, right? Yes. Cheyenne's your guy? Cheyenne's my guy. What Alex, a great his great partner. Mustache. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Th those are my boys. Man, I really want to fucking eat one burger. One of those burgers. I, had one, one so I, had, I got one bite that someone uh -huh. offered to me, and it blew my dick off. And it's I'm not just saying so that, fucking good. Because now we're obviously in bed with the homies. Yeah, yeah. That was really fucking No, one day I ate three of them and like I didn't even feel sick yeah like oh, that's it that's the highest compliment you could pay. no okay <laughs> I binge and not yeah. I didn't so good. I didn't want to barf <laughs> yeah I mean, granted, I did walk home over the bridge after sure. as like a you form of punishment. Right, right. Walking off, um, just flogging. But yourself. what I mean is like they are so good that I can like eat three of them and like feel awesome. And like there, I don't think there's any other burger in the world that were you do that inspired? For me. Like throwing our drunken canal is very much about like the tactile, the IRL experience, right? Yeah. It's not about the digital; it's the print. Are we gonna see some drunken canal ragers anytime yeah. soon? We went to the shit at Winnie's. The what was that for? <laughs> that was, was like a release party. Yeah, right? I'm yeah. literally trying to. Plan one for Friday right now. No way. For Friday. Yeah. Is that for the camp issue? Yeah. Listen, I can run a newspaper. I do not know how to throw a fucking party. You just tell people to show up at a place. That's, yeah, that's just it. Pick a spot. <laughs> I like, know. Fuck. But the thing is, like, now we're at the point where, like, sponsors. Um, that, but also we can't. Like we blow up a place. Right, right, right. Sure. You know, so like the place has to be prepared. Because it's you're dropping a nuke. Yeah. Yeah. We're dropping a nuke every sure. time there, there's a thing. And that's a um, good problem to have, right? Versus like we can't get anyone to show like if they I like, know, but I'm party. like, I don't I don't know where to have this. Right. Like you don't have relationships with like all these places like all these places I that do. are trying to hit you up. Just be like, yo, can you just host our party? Yeah. yeah but it's on fucking Friday. It's yeah. in so a it's week. Fun. Yeah. It's you gotta like, well, any inroads or you're completely um I'm I have a couple calls after okay. after we record oh, this. There goes my week of sobriety. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so the summer yeah. camp issue yeah. is dropping on Friday. Friday. Yes. What are you most excited about in this particular issue? Um I'm really excited about there's a lot of things. I think the thing that will convey the theme of the issue most is so it, it was inspired both by summer camp and by Susan Sontag's sure. notes on camp. And we um, mostly Claire did an amazing <laughs> job rewriting notes on camp as notes on canal. Oh, and, it's like a little parody. Yeah. And it's, it's like an insane manifesto, basically, <laughs> on like what it's we believe in really and like the like current state, the of, current like the state of affairs. And, and yeah, New York, New York City and the, yeah, the is, yeah. Like is it a bit of a rejection of the scene, like sending it up a bit, or is it like no? It's definitely like an embrace, okay. but of the things that like I mean, there are rejections in there of, of things we don't like, but like what don't you like? What aren't you fucking with? Ooh. I don't know. Um, Are you a negative person? No, no I'm generally a, a positive very positive person. I'm asking the hard questions. I, I can get like that very... I can get... <laughs> I'm like... The answer's no. I mean, you know, I'm like... Have been depressed for a very long time, mm -hmm. but... Um, 
unless I'm in like a state of depression, I'm always a very positive person. And like, that's why you have to go Twitter. Follow. Yeah. And like very excitable. Sure. Like everything is fun. Easily manipulated. <laughs> yeah. you know, the Literally that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're excited for Claire's uh, parody notes on canal notes on canal, which just like, breaks down sure is this like a is, is this like a, like a like a demarcation point for like for the drunken canal like you're literally putting out your ethos and your manifesto yeah in a way that we like never really have before interesting i mean we always write an editor's letter but this is like the first one that is like the like kind of matter of fact in a way interesting. so that one's oh, really so it's cool like straight, it's like like you actually mean what you're saying yeah we totally mean what we're saying and you think that but it was, like it, it explains it in like a joking matter it's right. been a long time coming because the scene has like really galvanized and come together so yeah. this is issue what number are we on now eight eight so this so w- it, it had to happen now would you say um, I think it's about time. Okay. You know, I think it's, it's fucking time. It's yeah. about fucking time. Um, Let's see what they really think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's you've that. created a monster to some degree. Yes. Which, yeah, we whether have. or not you're proud of it, I guess we'll find I out. I am. I'm incredibly year. proud. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, so I'm really excited about that. Um, your good friend Jonah did a piece. Jonah Water? Oh, yeah. Wow. Blackbird's Biplane dropped in with some recon. Yes, 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 Can yes. Can you give us any hints? Is it about... I can't Close? believe you guys can afford him. Yeah, right? <laughs> He's very expensive. Yeah, right? You know, what can I say? Is it about like John's and yeah, what's it about, is it about Corp? Is it it's about Corp. Corp. Oh, it is. is it literally the good old raisins and peanuts recipe? No, no, no. Which, Someone else did write a Corp recipe, I saw you though. on Instagram asking just about Corp. Gorp, though. Like, like literal like, gorp. I'm like, you, we I can't. I, my no, recipe. No, no, no. I know. I'm like, we can't do summer camp without gorp. Right. And was there going to be like a gorp recipe or something? There is a okay. gorp recipe. How come uh, Lawrence hasn't been asked to contribute yet? He's a he's a pensman. Have you why contributed? You, no, no. Oh. One, no. And also, why are you going to put it on? I'm just asking. <laughs> I I'm just asking. don't know. I can, I can two fucking people, two th- after the fact. 66% of the people in this room have. Oh, that's right. Because you front. did. You uh, did. Uh, well, little... granted, I. By the way, I, I had you I fucking hadn't... write that shit. So, or not. Yeah, you did. No, you I did. hadn't, I hadn't like right talked it. to you. But when when you wrote the piece, when did you meet Lawrence at the Winnie's party? Yeah, probably. Yeah, that was the first time we met. Was at the Winnie's party. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So what a night! What a night! Listen, we have going on. Honestly, we have so much time ahead of us. Follow J Crew on Instagram, but they recently endorsed (laughs) this man as a writer. I really think (laughs) no, doing some spawn. Lawrence, are you a writer? Uh, I wrote a book. Um, so a, a really, book. so I'm a I'm a I'm a published author. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so I have been known to dabble. To Yo, dabble like in the soul. art of the okay, pen. This is gonna be like when you ask people, like <laughs> understanding how old they are. Like, it's like, Yo, do you remember 9 11? Do you remember a blog called Four Pins? Oh my God, I remember this. Yes. That was his and shit. Also, no, 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 no. I don't uh, know what four. I don't. Course, I don't know what Four school. Pins is. Nine eleven. But there was. I also don't remember nine eleven. Oh my goodness. Uh, you were confused about a tweet in which I was. Getting, I was getting, yeah. props and you thought I was maybe shading yes and Rachel passion came in and kind of yes. cleared it up because like, it was very much a compliment wait you I guys get- had Twitter beef? No! Not like Twitter she beef, but he like one... tweeted something yeah. and like I'm gonna make a new I could f- I could four I pins could like drug and canal thing whatever. or something. Nah, we don't have to do that. And I was like <laughs> it wasn't that and I, I literally like quote retweeted it and being like, What are any of these words? Who is this and old is man? this me? Yeah, right. If anything, I was just showing my ass with <laughs> yeah. that one. She's like, What is this old man talking about? Gross. Yeah. What is a blog? Well, I think it was like at a moment in time where like a lot of people were giving us a lot of hate. 100%. I should have and, known that. And so I was like, what? I was like, oh, great. Now this guy is joining in on the it's hate fucking, parade. I caught, a, I caught a drunken canal uh, shot fired back at me. I was like, people too busy worrying about the drunken canal when they should be worrying about drunken anal. And then drunken canal replied back like, oh, is that really what you're into or some shit? So I said, so wait, we said time. that? Yeah, on Twitter. There's definitely a time. Where wait, like, you know, there is a fake oh, drunken gonna- canal Twitter. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. And there's the sober canal fucking losers. We're yeah, there is that. Are they dead? Uh, that I don't know what they're up to. On February 23rd, I tweeted, I'm going to relaunch Four Pins as a print-only clout corridor virgin version of the Drunken Canal. A day later, Goots quote retreated, what is going on? What do any of these words mean? I hope it's nice because mean people suck. <laughs> Four pins is a French term meaning. I said, I'm not mean. I'm jelly because I obviously am of your youth, your intelligence, and your beauty. Um, and Thank Rachel you. said, "It's nice. Don't worry." Yeah, so. yeah. I was also drunk. He said, "I would." 
I have to stop tweet searching the canal at 2.30, 2.43 a.m. after two bottles of wine and trying six versions of my new cocktail coming soon to Dr. Clark's. That is not an ad. <laughs> what is that cocktail? <laughs> um, okay. Fuel? Well, actually, we made, we made the cocktail and then we were all so drunk that we forgot what was in the cocktail. <laughs> And so we never put it on the menu. We literally went through so many versions of this cocktail. Were they like, literally like, yo, make us a cocktail? Yeah, yeah. I was menu? like, no, it's gotta be in a highball. Cause they were trying they were they were doing like a martini glass. I was like, no, 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 this has got to be like shaken with ice, like in it's a highball. It's not the lamb drink, is it? It's not the lamb drink. Okay, that shit was not good. Um <laughs> wait, what is the lamb drink? It's vodka, lamb consomme, and oh, like soda. Why would you order that? No, it's I, I wanted to, I had to try it. No, 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 no. It's not that. But um, Anyway. Yeah, we didn't make it, hatchet and then berry. and then yeah, yeah, yeah. hatchet berry beef squash. <laughs> wow, and then the next day we were like, wait, what the fuck was Gooch the cocktail? Good at Eddie Hood. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, well, RIP to that cocktail. I'd love to try. So we got the issue coming that. together on Friday, and again, we do thank you for joining us. Like at a very hectic moment, I've, I feel like you know, do you always yeah. drop at the end of the month, and then like. What's the hardest part about putting together every issue? Um, we do not normally drop at the end of the month. We were actually supposed to come out last week. And then we Fuck were just em. like, we're not fucking getting this done. Right. And that's like, fine. That's yeah. Okay. And, and I was like, Claire, like, what's the point of being our own bosses if we can't just like decide? I was to literally move talking to Lawrence. I was like, do we do an episode on? Do we drop it on a Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We're, I don't know. We're not, we shouldn't have this conversation now yeah. in front of the in front of all, in front of all the kids at home. <laughs> I will say this. I will say this, Goots. Who is the pressure from? Is it from yourselves? Because is it like people hitting you up? Like, where is the new issue? Like, is it no? It's definitely I'm at from the box. Our, it's, it's definitely internal, like right? from ourselves. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like I feel like a pressure and a responsibility, and I'm right. also like an insane workaholic. Right. Um, After eight issues, though, have you identified what like the singular like the the hardest part, not the most difficult or not, not, not like the, not, sorry, not the worst part or like your least favorite, but like, what's the hardest working every day? Is it work? Okay. Like I, I realize that <clears throat> if I don't, if I don't work, you don't take Fridays off a day. I've started to take weekends off, Thank God. which has gotten, which has been very helpful. Sure. Um, you're a week late. Um, <laughs> <laughs> literally, I think why I'm a week late because I realized like if we take a day off, then it, like catches up at the end like right now a bit, yeah, yeah 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 and i think that that's definitely the hardest part and also it's just like, like meme, it's like managing that so to, many fucking know, things the consequences right, like right me right. sowing me reaping yeah exactly yeah but how then, do you and claire divide the work though um we're pretty good at making sure we're doing the same amount of work so i'm i'm wow. like Tell me, I need to. I need to. I'm take, generally take your brain on that. this whole pod about you airing it. <laughs> is it coming off like that? Is a vessel? I'm sorry. I, I'll be. I'll be more. I'll be no, more but positive. people are I'm always very curious about that. Um, I'm definitely like more of the producer, right? So brain, like left brain type B. I think so. So you I'm like operations logistics, and she's like she wrote the manifesto. Yeah, she wrote the manifesto. She cut. She does yeah. like the funny bits a lot of the time. She wrote the manifesto. You plan the school shooting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You got the pretty fucking much, yeah, 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 pretty fucking much. Um, you know, I'm like, I'm wow. always like corralling people, right. and um, then she is like, like you know, the, and when you're talking about this event, like, is Claire plugging in on like the here's what like the vibes should be, but like you're, I'm gonna be like, calls. look, these are our options, and then she's this gonna is, pick the option. This is similar to what, I, yeah, yeah, you are the Jimmy of Drunken Canal. I am the Goots of throwing fits. Yes. And Lawrence yes. is the Claire. Yeah. Yeah. Is like, that makes total sense. Yeah. I that makes total sense. Yeah. Um, how's it yeah. been, how's it been as a 50 50 partnership? Like has, has the drunken canal in its, um, how long has it been around now? Like a year. It, it's a year in October. Oh wow. wow. Shit. Damn. Yeah. So Very there's, there's gotta stuff. be a big fucking one year anniversary. Oh my God. I, can't imagine, I know. Right? Yeah. That's gotta be big. Like a fucking, we like gotta start planning. We're, yeah. so we gotta start, <laughs> yeah. we gotta start planning that Uno now. And Nero. Yeah. Uh, we gotta start planning that now. Has I the think. drunken canal, this like monster that you guys have created, has it ever tested your friendship with Claire? Because you guys were friends before. Yeah. Best friends. Has it besties we, or we got a closer since you've been working together. Definitely like new best friends when got we it. started this. Um, we met probably in like September of 2019. Okay. Relatively recently. Yeah. How did you guys meet? Just like going out. We There's met no one meet, night. Cute, like crazy stories. Just like we're. No, we like, we like met one night and had like so much fun. And then the next night um, I like ran into her again and she was like throwing this party 
and we she ended up leaving her own party to, to like, go chill with you to go Ballroom. chill with me and we Damn. like took mushrooms and went to lola Sick. just like had like a fucking blast the Hell two yeah. of us and i was like oh my god this person is like I was also like we severely God depressed at the time, just like you, not leaving bringing, my house. She's you out of it. Yeah, and she I was. You. She literally rescued me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much about to help. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We and then and then yeah. Um, but, so but has has it ever tested this unbreakable bond? Definitely, but yeah. it's tested my bond with a lot of people. Interesting. Ooh. A lot of people it, because um, like they're, they're like corpses they, in the wake of the drunken canal. Uh, what it, like oh I, I, are people that like are no longer our friends you because you some people from your life because yeah. they fucked you over or whatever yeah reason. or just like realize we don't really see eye to eye and stuff yeah but it's it's hard that's, game. that's media though right I mean that kind of I guess but it's incredibly degree. hard like you know to tell a lot of my friends what to do mm-hmm. as and, like as a boss because right. I'm like like well, yeah, if, if you're like texting me like I. You know, I don't have a lot of time. And so I get really like frustrated when people do like little things wrong. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I asked you to email this to me and you're texting it to sure. me. And like, I would sometimes I talk to them like a boss would talk to an employee. And then I have to remember that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. wait, these people this like is, don't. This is girl boss goots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I have to remember, like, OK, like, you know what? These people are like giving you their time, their energy, their creativity. Like if they text it to you, it's OK. You'll but it's just... also your livelihood now. Like yeah. you, you're taking the shit seriously, whereas maybe somebody's just like trying to fuck around and just like be or a clout chase or whatever. Right? Yeah, it's it's Where complicated. The are very different than your own. Have you had a lot of clout chasers uh, try to glom on clout demons? If you clout I demons. would just think so. But onto the bridge, <laughs> I would think so. But I'm not I don't really like let people in that much anymore um well, just because I'm, <laughs> 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 like on a on a close personal level i i keep people at an arm's length for a while and then well, and, that, and that's how it's always been or is that just because of the virtue of the success now i think it's amplified by the virtue sure. of the success yeah for sure um i think it's just something it's like a defense mechanism because i've also realized that a lot of the the hate we've gotten has come from sources that are close. Oh, from Source. inside the house. Yeah. You keep your You're, talking to the, so, You're talking to the fucking kings of uh, yeah. having rats yeah. in the nest. Yeah, for so, sure. The call's so, coming from inside the house. The call's is. coming from inside the house the sometimes. The fox are in the coop. And yeah. like, the I... The fox are in the goot. And, <laughs> that's funny. Um, and I'm... Every any people can believe whatever they want. Like people are allowed to have their own opinions. Nah, sure, of course. course. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> negatory. Do you pay attention to the hate and the negative comments. I stopped. Or really, like, so 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 many people are coming for the two queens. Like, <laughs> so you've learned to stop. I've learned to stop googling myself and and, <laughs> and the drunken canal. Twitter searching now on. Yes, yeah, yeah, and I've drunk. also yeah. um, stopped smoking weed as much. Were you getting like paranoid? And- I was getting mad paranoid. Damn. I was like like really freaking out um and just like you know not really like able i would like i would you're getting like consumed with that the the small negative thing that where like it becomes like it's such a it's almost like the consuming um, you yeah yeah like i would read a tweet and then like reevaluate my entire life and the integrity of the drunken canal damn lawrence you really did that to her (laughs) No, I mean Lawrence's was Monster. actually like that was okay. More confusion at this, you know, this old man yeah. yelling at clout. Who is this man? Yeah, where, I was like, where, you know, no offense. Sure I was like, I was like, you're, but, you're, but the yeah. vocal minority, right? That's what I was looking for. That was what was getting to you. And you were, yeah, it kind but of right. I'm, I'm in a much better place now. That's I great. can, I can like handle these things. Here's what we always, here's, it how, comes with the territory. Sure, I realize, of course. but Lord, I literally got like, sorry, you, well, once I will, and then once I'll I tell you this crazy story about like mm-hmm. we see one thing where it's just like oh what the fuck bro and you have to remember that like nobody writes positive Yelp reviews they <laughs> yeah. only write negative ones and so for every one person <laughs> that fucking pipes up with some bullshit yeah. think of like the thousands of people that, yeah. that are don't satisfied say anything and they're because, like I love yeah. this I'm good exactly Keep doing what you're doing I don't want to take up your time I'm no. not gonna like you know exactly but like it sounds like you've already arrived kind of at a similar place i have i have i totally have yeah, but like sure mindset but there's so there's things that like still get, like the other day i literally got like heckled i was at winnie's and this street? no i was at winnie's and this oh. guy was like yo goots and i could tell by the tone in oh, his oh, voice yeah, i was like this thing. is gonna go bad <laughs> and he just goes fuck you what? he goes 
fuck you and face? fuck the drunken canal. Yeah, to well, my face. What was his uh, steez? What was Yo, his well, vibe? Yeah, fit check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did he look well, cool? he had a tattoo on his neck, and my friend Zams goes, you better shut the fuck up or, or I'll rip that tattoo <laughs> off your neck. Damn, shout out Zams. Do you ever get positive? Oh, yeah, history? often. Sure. Really, yeah, yeah, yeah. People, um, we've kind of actually tried to, or at least I have tried to... Um, separate myself a little bit as the face of it of the drunken canal oh, by design by design like you know it used to this is like so the nitty-gritty but it no. used to in the bio say like edited by right in our ads i took that out because i realized like this thing is a production it's bigger than you it's bigger than me and claire yeah it's bigger than me and claire but that being said we've done enough press as the drunken canal yeah. that now people I mean, podcast. yeah like people know you, us as that and so people like do often come up to us and say hi like Winnie's, you're in the nexus of the whole fucking yeah show. is there like a goots character that you have to like turn on versus like I'm, i don't know if i'm allowed to say your real name or not um I'm to, oh yeah I'm you can you, versus like just being your true self as michelle like michelle, well, well i think <laughs> i think goots is the real me and michelle really? is like whoa michelle good stuff that's the real me yeah yeah when i'm good stuff no <laughs> and gooted <laughs> like like that's and funny Wait, so you created goots to be yourself kind of maybe. well i just like have been going by goots for like over 10 no, no, years not, at this not point in, like the the nomenclature yeah no but no like but goots is goots is like character or the person like when when the New York Times wrote about us. Mm. And I Ben Smith, your best friend. <laughs> yeah. Ben Smith and anybody My, my ben. best friend, Ben Smith. <laughs> Fuck Ben Smith. All my um, boys hate Ben Smith. And they, he would not just call me Goots. And I was like, I don't know how to what explain. You mean like while talking on the phone? No, no, no like in, in the, the article. article. And I was like, I don't know how to explain to you any clearer that Michelle Guterman, mm -hmm. which is my real name, does not do the drunken canal. Right. Good Scooterman does the drunken canal. And he sent me like the New York Times like style guide. Style right, guide. Right, right. And he was like, this is why Bill Clinton can be called Bill Clinton. I'm like, listen, Ben, <laughs> I've been in enough goddamn articles <laughs> for you to fucking call me Good Scooterman and not put it in quotes. Yeah. And he just like wasn't oh, having the, it. What did he end up doing then? It says Michelle Good Scooterman, which is like whatever, Which but is correct. Yes, but technically it Not is. To side with ben Smith here. No, technically it is, but I bring that up as an example to say that like it feels inaccurate. Right. So like, so like technically right. it is correct, but like, yeah, no, the, emo I get it. You know, on like an emotional level, and like probably a get meta it more than level. anyone else because it's like the Jimmy, Jimmy and Larry do throwing fits. James Harris and Lauren Schlossman are just too They're fucking dead. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen him in a damn Once long time. No I'm Larry, baby. <laughs> I'll debase myself for any check. Um, well, obviously, the Drunken Canal has gotten crazy attention, whether it is in like the New York Times or just like doing the only podcast that matters. Mm -hmm. Who's the biggest celebrity fan Ooh. of the Drunken oh, Canal? Um, is it Leah McSweeney? Oh, right. Shout oh, out sh shout out Leah. Love her. Um, yeah, stop no, I'm punting. And yeah, we're <laughs> trying to pot with her. We keep getting fucking punted down the line. She's a very busy woman and a mother. She's, I believe, married to the mob. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. He's back. I'm back, baby. I'm back. He's back. <laughs> you know, you got to give mothers like right, sure. a lot more leeway than other of course, people. Of course. Um, so Leah's up there for Leah's sure. Leah's up there. Is she like a, f just real quick on Leah, because. I the thing that when James was even floating her as a potential guest and I watch Bravo and I, but not the real housewives of New York. Um, what, but, do you watch? what was uh, Vanderpump? Well, RIP oh. Vanderpump, but love um, Southern deck. charm below deck. The weird one. Um, Summer house. The, oh, the weird ones. Fuck you. No, they, <laughs> they, they, they really, we really do watch like the B, the B level of Bravo. Yeah, this Southern is the B level. But okay. The, but sorry, but continue. That blew me away and kind of like, not that I needed to be sold on Leah McSweeney, but like seeing her, like go out to dinner with you guys at Balthazar and not just like to like, I don't know, get a flick because she wants like, you know, some runoff clout mm -hmm. from like cool young people. But I was like, damn, there seems like a real kind of like yeah. mentor mentee relationship totally. here. And I was like, Oh, Leah gets it. Leah gets it. And Leah gets it. Very impressive. Yeah. Leah gets it. And she's like a big supporter. Um, I think she's just like, yeah, she, she actually hasn't contributed yet. Really? Thought she did a hor uh, I thought she wrote a little did, thing. Like a horoscope. Or not horoscope. A prediction. Um, prediction. Did she? Yes. You better get, you better get your piece of cheese, right, girl. Don't worry. She's, oh my God. she's never going to listen. Oh, my God. No, but she's great. And she's like just so... Um, 
she just like believes in what she believes and like doesn't give any fucks otherwise. Is it like and a big sister thing with her? Kinda? I mean, we're like, I wouldn't say we're that close, right. but she's a big supporter and she's just like happy to be a part of anything that is like creativity driven yeah, and real. And I mean, no real. Gives, I, I think that she and never really got enough sick, credit for yeah. being like a part of downtown totally scene, like pre, totally pre internet no know I mean? totally totally and i think she sees a lot of herself in like me and claire yeah, very flattering and yeah no it was awesome and like that that was like the cool that was like the moment that my mom thought was the coolest oh, she's familiar uh, with. yeah 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 she's, she's like, like oh okay work. she's like have i you forgive t- you for quitting your job yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't when like we were in the new york times it wasn't right. when when we were in new york mag or a anything else it was you? yeah it was when it was when liam mcsweeney started That's fucking with us right. that my mom was like oh yeah oh I but it. i will say we do i think we do um have more high profile readers really want to join name drop anyone specifically we, okay right i don't know if he still reads it but we do send them to jonah hill Ooh, oh our close personal <laughs> yeah friend, you're good pro, per, close Very personal cool. oh, he, a did, he did post a lot about it right or he he did he he post? engaged with the drunken canal uh I don't Instagram. he d- maybe I know he engaged with the eye on pack interesting and we did um, it first just to be clear yeah, yeah. twice two I times, know I, times. Yeah, yeah yeah he's a patron no he gets it for free oh, okay. I think he, like, he like, commented on some shit whatever maybe so or Jonah, like Jonah for sure Jonah I know more about your Instagram than you do <laughs> <laughs> listen She's like tweeting drunk at I, in the morning. I have a lot on my plate you sure it. like I I'm incredibly yeah, overwhelmed mm-hmm. and I'm drowning. <laughs> yeah I'm drowning have you looked into like is the next step of the drunken canal like hiring staff? Yes. Ooh, really? Yeah. We just all right. We just hired our friend Owen as our merch guy. Oh shit! We're gonna see. Some, oh yeah, you're probably yeah. leaving a lot of money on the table in the merch. I can't know, take but it but here's the thing: like, I don't have fucking time to right, deal right, with merch, course. and so now we're at the point where like, okay, we can kind of like front well actually we're actually not even giving him money until the merch comes sure, out because right. we don't have the money but it's to a whole new him. revenue stream that's about to be unlocked courtesy he, of yeah, to yeah, someone uh, owen who has the manpower yes because like because claire and i were trying to do it ourselves and we're like this cannot like we cannot fucking do this um so Wait, any other celebs that want to name drop while we have the opportunity jonah was a great one yeah i don't even i don't know can i guess okay. uh chloe seven yeah um, I, I, she knows about it. I mm. know she knows about it because Ben Smith asked her about it. I really? think, yeah, <laughs> but I don't think she's she, ever read she it, or maybe she has. Yeah. Oh, she was okay. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. She was. Um, Paz de la Huerta. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> He's naming but... Vincent Gallo. Oh, we have. He has like contributed. Jerry <laughs> Gallo did really. We, he like told us the worst date he's ever been on. It was like this crowdsourced thing oh, we did, okay. like similar to the predictions. Uh, Jerry, Jerry Saltz. <laughs> no, not a reader. Probably I, for the better. Then probably. Yeah. I don't yeah. think. I don't. I he's don't. kind of gone kind off of. the deep end. Recently. I think he's always been. He's a yeah, little off swimming the, in the deep end. Yeah, 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 and, yeah. Um, do you have a dream contributor? Ooh. That like would be oh that's a good question. Yeah, I want to feel surprised. Um, is, huh, oh what would my dream contributor be? Besides Lawrence, yeah, right. right. Besides Lawrence, you already, you already checked the Jimmy box. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hmm. Is this all time dead or alive, or they have to? It has to be realistic. Probably real, like a pop real. star. So, oh, really? we did have our eyes set on Lil Michaela. We Ooh. really want Lil Michaela to write something. Did she get canceled for like creating fake rape trauma. Remember that? Whole what? Thing? Oh God, I don't know. Then maybe I take that back. Did, uh, <laughs> Are you boys with Trevor? Like, no, no, no. But I thought I thought it would be funny to have an AI. Right. I I just did air quotes for those who can't that see. It. So what's the guy version of Lil Michaela? That fucking uh, dude, Blocko twenty two. Yeah, some I don't want to hurt our chances. Where are we going to have him on the pod? Yeah, <laughs> but little Michaela, from what I understand, did like a, a, a did a vlog as whatever she has a YouTube channel. What? And they like fake bot rape trauma. Yeah, no, they well the whole thing. She's not a bot. She's supposed to be like it's an AI of a real person. So the whole thing was she she in it, what was supposed to be in in theory something like in solidarity with you know survivors of sexual assault and trauma. They like did like a fake scripted one. 
And like people are like, this is the definition of bad taste. So that did happen. Interesting. So I don't know where people stand on Loma Killer right now. But that was yeah, scary. I mean, I don't know that that's <laughs> not to backtrack. No, I don't know that that's like our dream anymore. But the second issue. You said, you said pop star. So who is like a, a pop star would be sick. Like, yeah. like, like a true mainstream like Bieber level. Yeah, like an interview with them or like Chet Hanks. It would be fucking <laughs> funny. It would, it would be funny. Um, we actually did Pop-con? write this article. We wrote a fake interview with Chet Hanks. Really? And Pre White Boy Summer? Pre White Boy Summer. Damn, you had the vision. But then we didn't publish it. Oh, <laughs> oh, because White Boy Summer turned real uh, dark. Real yeah, yeah, because we were like. A little too proud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. Were, we like literally. That boy was a little too proud. We, oh, we yeah. literally like wrote answers as Chet Hanks, what like about pretending. Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks would be fire. Tom Hanks would be fire. And we're just going to name fucking famous people now? Yeah. Madonna, that'd be sick. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yeah. Kim. Kim. Kylie. Kylie would be cool. Kim. Kylie. Kendall. Think, who's the biggest pop star in the world? I think Drake. Kendall is like a um, like maybe attainable. J Balvin. J Balvin. Who's attainable? Like of everyone like you just, just named, the name, the, the, Kendall's just probably most. People hour right now. This yeah, is, yeah, yeah. I can't shit. even like think of anyone. Yeah. Well, maybe Lamar like Odom. That'd maybe, be sick. Maybe like Billie Eilish also or something. Ooh, yeah, she just got like queer. She's queer baiting. She was canceled. She's some queer, shit. She was queer pilled. Yeah. What's the future? Everyone that, needs to calm down. What's the future of the Drunken Canal? Um, it's a good question. Obviously, it's like a monthly slog, right? He's like putting out the cool yeah. product, but like as you expand into merch, as you expand into fucking ragers. Um, what are we gonna see? We're from coming Coons out with a book. Sick. Really? Yeah. The deal Breaking. I think is well, we're, we're self publishing. Oh, um, on Amazon.com. <laughs> it's we're coming out with the clandestino. For all your book and needs. It's a clandestino cheese plate coffee table book. I love that. It'll be available for pre order around the thirtieth. Quick question: Who shit their pants at clandestinos? Oh yeah, do you know? I don't know. I wasn't there. <sighs> and also, I don't have a sense of smell, so I wouldn't have smelled Ooh, it anyway. What you, per- you have long COVID? Like, yeah. I don't know. It just like went away after I got COVID. And you haven't gotten it back yet? No, and I had COVID in February. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank Clearly, God. yeah. We did the fit check. Uh, okay, so coffee table. <laughs> oh, there he is. That's and a good one. God, I don't think I've made a single joke this whole time. No, you're. That's what you're. you're oh, me. thank God. You're doing, you're, you're doing amazing. Sweaty. You're straight man or woman. Wait, you really God. have no sense of smell still. I've started to be able to smell sweet things. I can't smell anything savory, but I can smell like floral things. Sometimes. How does that affect fucking all your eating out and your seafood well, power consumption? I think I can. Um, the briny, the saltiness. Yeah. I mean, I can taste the brininess just yeah. fine. As if you're standing on a poop deck. <laughs> yeah. Um, I <laughs> think I can taste as well as you can without a sense of smell. I don't even know what that means, but I guess. Congrats. Like, I don't know. I can taste. Damn. Can no you taste the clandestino's cheese? Uh, yeah. Yes. Sorry. That I was think. T- a, a, a I l- segue back to the book. Oh, yeah. No, my brain, my brain literally just like short circuited when you said happen. that. And happen. I was like, we saw you buffering. And I literally was like, did I lose my smell before or after the cheese plate mandate ended? But they do cheese. They do like uh, it's like Ritz crackers and like. Fucking, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, it was literally just because like New York state law mandated right, it. Right. Like they didn't really want to do it. Sure, sure, but sure. it was such a relic dish. of the pandemic era and like a big, um, you know. Yeah. Dine Square Joe. When can we expect to see this? Um, the 30th. It, that's for pre-order. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, when, yeah. When will it be released? I think like end of September. Okay. So that's the next big project. That's the next big and project. as you guys ramp up, have you thought about what is your price and how yeah. much you would sell this? I'm not going to sell for? this thing. Come on, dog. Goods, come on. Get the fuck out Goods. of here. This is just your first act. I'm not going to sell it. You would Bro, never sell it. Everyone has now. a price. I w- if, if fucking Ben Smith came and got to <laughs> on his fucking little rat knees <laughs> and was like, I'll give you. Do rats have knees? Okay, <laughs> they four of them. I'll give you all my. <laughs> I'll give you all my BuzzFeed stock for the yeah. Drunken Canal. You're not gonna I don't believe in the stock market. <laughs> wow. Bars. Fake money. Yeah. Um, no. Go back to the gold standard. I don't want to. Never going to sell it? Come on. Don't fucking lie. What am I going to do when I sell it? Unless Who I give uh, a fuck. Be rich. Get your Prada boots Get fixed. Get your smell back. I don't yeah. know. Listen. <laughs> I no surgery. This, this wasn't like money was never the name of the game. Right. Sure. Granted, but, we're an incredibly like not lucrative industry. It's print media. Right. Well, has it hit you yet that like being in media is like you're never going to make any money. Scam, bro. Right. You're going to be overworked. You're never going to have like a healthy work life balance. Like has that underworked and overworked? No, not until you just said that. Well, <laughs> 
<laughs> we fucking started this podcast to get out of the media game. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wait, and so look so, at us. We're working on a Sunday. So yeah. eventually the drunk canal. That was my fault. No, it's fine. Yeah. So you would, instead of just like selling it to fucking some conglomerate, right? Who's buying it for the clout. You would rather take the steps. to. I'd make rather close thing. it. Really? Really? Yeah. That is Damn. a bold. That, listen, listen. That's this is some fucking. Talking. This is some fucking doe eye twenty four year old like respect, and that's very punk rock and everything. But like when you're <laughs> when you're twenty seven, like me, yeah. and your knees hurt, um, you're, you're gonna. <laughs> this is very CBGB, but as the store that's in like LaGuardia we would sell throwing fits for like ten thousand dollars. <laughs> no, <laughs> and we have, and we have. No, I, <laughs> I mean, like maybe a if million it, dollars. Are you still enjoying? Are you still enjoying the ride? Yeah, I'm enjoying the ride. I would maybe sell it for a million dollars if I retained control and owned That's most of it. That's interesting. Keep the IP. Trust yeah, yeah, us. You, yeah. You've lost that battle once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. Like, yeah. I'm I'm not interested in losing what I worked really hard this for. This is your baby. This is my baby. And I, but at the same time, like, I realize while it is my baby, you can't be too precious with it. Nothing gold can stay. And, and, and if it means, burn out the and if it away. means, Closing, right? Then we close. go out on your own terms. Yeah, I'm going out on my yeah. own damn terms. I started this on my own terms. And right. I'm going out on my own terms. Would you? I mean, I guess it's easy. Well, can I say this? It's kind of easy for you. Also, no one's going to give us a million dollars. I mean, you'd be okay. fucking surprised. Yeah. <laughs> you would be surprised. Sure. But then also, I guess it's like let's think about the Drunk Canal as it exists today, July 25th, 2021. You guys aren't making like crazy money hand over no. fist. You're overworked and underpaid. I guess the first immediate thing would be like let's open up like merch, these revenue streams, sell this book and then maybe see if you could fucking make money yourself without that's, bringing that's somebody game, else into it. Yeah, that's the game plan. But don't, but I guess the thing is that like right now it almost sounds like you don't care about money, but you do. It's, it's, I, I don't. And I do. I think I just like, don't know what I would do if we started making money in the sense that like, this right. is a really large production sure. and there are a lot of moving parts and a lot of people who write and contribute for it. And I wouldn't feel right taking money and then having the people who write for me. You could not pay them it. if you, yeah, you I know. Start, you could start supporting like all the homes. It's almost easier. Well, I will say to your point, not to put words in your mouth, but it is easier when no one's making money. It <laughs> is. Are no, it, it, That's what things are the easiest. It is. It is. Like we we've started working with brands, like collaborating with brands. Balenciaga to, sponsor. Yeah. The last Balenciaga, issue? right? Uh, yeah, we Shut did Balenciaga. Um, and then hmm. we did the next one's Polaroid. Uh, wow. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, so Polaroid is making moves downtown. They, they just did a collab with Knickerbocker. They're sponsoring um, the They came out with a new game. camera. The oh. Polaroid Go. It's Polaroid <laughs> you can charge it and oh, it's small and uh, it can uh, fit in your purse. We're going QVC mode. Let <laughs> Polaroid, cut the fucking check. <laughs> How long have you been doing Drunken Canal full time? Like, uh, since you, February. So maybe no, since March. Six ish months. Oh, yeah. What did your parents say when you were like, Mom, Dad, I'm quitting my job? giving up health insurance. Well, I guess you're on your parents' health insurance. Though. Um yeah. uh, to do the I'm actually Obama. not. I pay for my own health oh, insurance. Oh, welcome to the club. That's the fucking worst. Yeah. Yeah. That that was that was what really sucked are you about quitting my job. I am. So what did they say? Were you like, are you yeah. fucking crazy? Or were they like, yo, go for it. this is the American dream? Um doubtful. <laughs> this is why we left uh a, where are you from? Estonia? In Ukraine. Ukraine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> close not this too is far um so sick. my man just lobbed out in the stone it room. was it was it was a mix they just they saw how overworked i really was because i was doing a full-time job oh, you're double dipping. i was i was working all day to go home and work all night yeah, 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 and yeah. then like would go out at like 12 and stay out till three and then mm. wake up at seven and Ugh. do the same thing all over oh again. i missed that, that life really <laughs> and and i was just like i need you guys to give me I did ask for six months. Um, of oh, like, from your job? No, no, no. From my no, parents. From parents. Oh, just like trust. Got like, it, got it, yeah. got it. Because, you know, let me, they, tr- let me just roll the dice for six months. Yeah, let me just roll the good. dice for six months, maybe even less. Let me see what happens. Because they were like, you know, like I've got money saved up, everything's fine, but. They were mostly worried that I was like fumbling. Mm. And so I was like, just give me fumbling some. Fumbling the bat. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, ju- I was like, just give me some time. Let me see what happens. I think I can make this paper really good if I go full time. They were, if and, they were your- supportive? and they were supportive. That's Gr- great. Granted, I think it was after the New York Times article came oh, out. Oh, so there was like a, a little bit of juice. Yeah, and we had done New York Mag and GQ. Sure. Had your mom seen that mm-hmm. Lee McSweeney was a follower? Yeah, and your, mom, your mom was familiar with <laughs> no, Lee that was That was after, that was after. <laughs> but yeah, that was the game plan. What, looking back at like when you were working in the art world, mm-hmm. you mentioned Jerry Saltz, what was the worst part for you about working in art? 
I mean, I kind of liked being a gallery girl. Really? Honestly. Yeah. It's romantic in a way. Um, I am like obsessed with office culture <laughs> and office aesthetics. And I, I went Hence to the Balenciaga. <laughs> I, yeah. They were like my dream collaborator. Um, I went to school for sculpture and my thesis was about office spaces. Mm. And so, and like, I get a real kick out of paperwork. I'm like <laughs> such a boring person like that. Does um, Drunken Canal have an office? We do not have an office. Same. Is it is it like an ironic novelty thing or you really do like it? Because for for the average person, like everyone, I would say, listening, that's over the age of that's not a student. Yeah. Uh, they're the office culture that they are like shackled to is like probably I would say I would bet the bane of their. Experience. I love it because you kind of have to be a performer. When oh. you're in an office, oh my God. and that's and I part. almost got a case of the Mondays. <laughs> and, am I right? And, Update. Yeah. But, <laughs> that's the most exhausting part, though, yeah, is that dog. you had to be office Jimmy, office Larry, <laughs> office Goose. I love performing. <sighs> you are, you are, <laughs> you are a performative. <laughs> you are <laughs> trade, <laughs> trade drama teacher. Yeah, yeah, and um, <laughs> I get a genuine kick out of the banal. You know, yeah. I get a genuine the drunken banal. <laughs> the drunken banal. I get a genuine kick out of the boring and like the mundane. And so I like love this being a gallery really girl. Fucking Balenciaga. Like, yeah. It all yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I was I also loved that 50% of my job was showing up and looking good. Yeah. That was literally half what of gallery, my job. If we may be so bold. It was called Jane Lombard Gallery. Never heard of it. But also, we're fucking Philistines. Yeah. Like um, we're jocks. And- Yo, you know, we're jocks. What do you think of cause? We're hot jocks. <laughs> 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 what do you think of Murakami? <laughs> <laughs> and not my cup of tea. If you go home with a dude and he has streetwear toys, are you fucking him or not? Nah? I'm not going home with a dude that looks like he has streetwear toys. Okay. All right. Okay. That's fair. We're, <laughs> right. that we're, the, we're, dude, the, okay. we're the Riddler might abscond. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> we're in my home right now. Do you uh-huh. think I was going to have streetwear toys? No. Okay. no, you're a grown ass man, doggy. Grown ass men have streetwear toys. Shout out my guy NCB and Dennis Tedisco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, damn. But are you glad to be out of art? Like now that art is kind of on this like hyper capitalist, like everyone's making record sales, or do you not give a fuck about that? Um, I don't think that that's my concern. I think what I liked the least about art was like ingenuine qualifications of things. Okay. So like reading people of like shows and works, like reading a press release and being like, this is, this is like garbage. Like you're literally, this is like this, this is not real, you know, or 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 thinking that like some, this like Instagram post is like, important Mm -hmm. you know like that drove me insane i was doing social media and i literally like i didn't care about any of the paperwork i loved it i loved fucking filing things and you know dealing with spreadsheets and all that shit as soon as i had to write an instagram caption my brain turned off and i would start crying so again the banal doesn't bother you it's the smoke and mirrors the (laughs) circumstance surrounding everything else that props that really props up yeah. the entire art industry. Exactly. Like, exactly. But it's funny because this sounds like also it's kind of you. This is what carried over into how you and Claire sp- split the drunken canal mm, responsibilities. Yeah. Where you're into like actually doing the work, the unglamorous work that yeah. makes it exist. Yeah. And then she will write, be like the, the copy man. The yeah. Copy woman. Yeah. And write like the real, the things that like often really draw people in right. that like the real funny bits that like garner a lot of attention. I have to ask you this because you are, I believe I said, uh, media's first micro mogul. Mm-hmm. And then I did a bunch of uh, rap lyrics that, you know, changed the drunken canal. Um, <laughs> what's your least favorite thing in media right now? Cause like Lawrence Ooh. and I, all we fucking do is complain about like what we see out there in terms of like media, like as a, Medium in. And we know you're not a negative person, but if you will indulge us. I yeah. think I like don't consume as much. Intentionally? To any magazines? No. Or, not really. Are you intentionally yeah. trying to like not? I think look I at just like, don't have doing? time. Yeah. I think I just like really don't have time. But um I don't I don't know. I would I don't have a concrete answer. Like I haven't seen anything that particularly bothers me because I think I also do a good job at like just blocking out the blocking noise out the time, blocking so. out the things I find annoying and focusing what on the you, things that I like. So what, what's inspiring you then on the other side of that corner? Yeah. Is there, is there what, do you, what, do you, what do you look to that? You're just like, that's yeah. like, they're doing good shit. Yeah. Not that you got to like have competition. Cause I really think what you guys are doing is like so unique and why it's obviously got everyone in a fucking, you know, got their panties in a bunch or like get people that's psyched. Sexist. Like, that's sexist. That's <laughs> sexist. Whatever. It's a fucking turn. <laughs> I'm not wearing fire. panties. Exactly, Lawrence. <laughs> that's not your score in a fucking... Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, when people are zigging, it's, Goose is not wearing panties. So, so if you're not hating on anything, which again, very noble view, what is, you know, feeling... Like you, my friends, my my friends, What's things they write... Tingle? 
Um, like Substacks. Yeah, a lot of my friends. Does Honor have a Substack? Honor has a Substack. Um, Walter Pierce has a Substack. Just dropped uh, dropped something today. Uh, Another uh, manifest. (laughs) Biggest fan of the pod shorts. Yeah, we gave him a pair of shorts. Yeah, he's he's a genius. Um, Oh, I would love some. I actually just ordered (laughs) boys basketball shorts off Amazon. Let's give you the real Um, Because I'm always seeing that girls look hot in basketball shorts. I was like, Uh, I could try that. Green, black, or burgundy. Yeah, you got a color. Uh, is it a real burgundy? Well, this is this is the um, black. And then James the James burgundies the are like that. Yeah, this is. The I green. would say either black or burgundy. Okay, okay. We'll get you both. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, where was I? Oh, things that things inspire that are me. Yeah. Right now. yeah, like just life and where I go and like the things my friends create and like going out and actually like living it versus like consuming something yeah. on the screen. Yeah, she's like. And I, and like, I, I'm a pretty bad editor in the sense that, like, I don't pay attention to what's going on around sure. me as much as, like, I don't know. But that's why other people do. So, I, but that's why my vision is so genuine. Right. Sure. Because well, you touch grass. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I touch grass and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feet on Gaia. I don't yeah. listen to any other podcasts, including this one. Um, which is like an <laughs> example of like staying pure. So I mean, I like read. You never want to influ- be influenced by like what the fucking other peons yeah. are doing. Like I right? read articles that like strike my interest, sure. but I don't like go to. I don't have like sources I go to. Like right. I don't like regularly pull up websites. You know, not, but you like, like zoo boards. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> but don't, like, you don't have a worldview that's directly influenced by like because I subscribe to the Atlantic. Yeah, uh, no, no, whatever. no. But if I if I like see something. Yeah, like or I, I hear about noble. something You're and then I it. read it. That Especially, like you know what I mean. Who's your favorite follow on Twitter? The like a person to follow. Yeah, besides us, the throwing fits. <laughs> well, the throwing fits Twitter is not good. That's a good. <laughs> that's a good question. Um, a or do you even follow. like? Because honestly, I'm, can I just like look at my life? You can absolutely. I honestly, I'm at the point now where I'm just tweeting for me, dude. And like, I don't it even shows. like, <laughs> and I mean, no, I mean, that no, good no, I'm not I mean trying to way. necessarily like engage or which maybe is a dickhead thing to say, but like, yeah. we've kind of converged on the same, I think like Twitter uh, mentality, which is that we'll go like days without tweeting right. and then like mm-hmm. fire off like six at a time yeah. or like the, <laughs> of the worst tweets yeah. known to man, but not to like get even a reaction from other people, but just be like, oh, this is interesting yeah. or, fu- or funny to me. eating pussy. Be like, <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. sorry, I'm <laughs> not it to eating tin fish or whatever. <laughs> I yeah, haven't been talking that. because I'm like looking at my likes totally and I also just opened my phone and there are so we many notifications. We can, we can carry this shit. We yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. This is your job. So what, I don't even know. I like, I like everyone whatever. I follow. Yeah, I'm hearing is that uh, great diplomatic of you. Yeah. The Drunken Canal is not going to be in one year, just like posting anniversaries about like albums dropping and like TikToks that are four days old, which is great. Goots, I got to yeah. ask you this. Yeah. How's your horny summer going? Yeah. Is uh, it lit? Is it litty? This is the meats and cheeks yeah. portion of the podcast. It's, it's like not. What? Get which the is, fuck out of here. But apparently yeah. that's the thing. It? Apparently that's the thing is that people... <laughs> apparently uh the horny summer of all time is kind of a fucking floppy because a lot of people are like very um anxious or like too, there's too much anxiety or, yeah. yeah like pe- there's too much pressure okay i'll 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 let the listeners of throwing fits in on something and really embarrass oh, myself i haven't had sex since may Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> same no not same <laughs> um, may may yeah. Yeah. so your horny Doggy. summer is non-existent were yeah. you have crazy expectations yourself because we've been no broadcasting i feel like are a you lot of pressure busy? To are you listeners. out here are you trying to suck and fuck or are you like too busy yes and no yeah. like i am but i'm i am busy and i also feel like I'm like so surrounded by love in my life with like my friends. So I'm so fulfilled that I'm not really seeking it elsewhere. Mm. At the same time, it would be really nice <laughs> to fuck. Yeah, totally. <laughs> what, did to, I, what did I tell you last time I saw you said the most eligible bachelorette in, in the in, in downtown below 14th Street? Well, thank you kindly. Yeah. I, I mean, am very go. domestic. Do you fucking rectify you have this? Um, I think I do have a type, but it's oh, also. I'd love to hear this. I've. I've always. <laughs> he has to work at the New York Times. He has to write about the media. No, 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 no. Um, I'm just, just like a class name. Buzzfeed rat- stock. He's a rat knee. <laughs> Preferably four rat knees. 
<laughs> yes, this is you and you and Ben Smith playing a game of cat and mouse. Ooh, cat, cat and rat. Yeah, I'm sure his wife and kids would yeah. love that. Oh damn! Oh, if you're sure. the if you're Ben Smith's guma, <laughs> <laughs> forbidden love, the taboo. Okay, what's your type? If you had to speculate, yeah. um, it's like definitely older. Okay, for sure. Um, what are we talking like thirties, forties, thirties, forties, fifties? I don't know. Not fifty. I'm not king. How old are your parents? Uh. My dad is 69. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, hell. hell yeah. Wait, actually, but my dad. Than no, that. no, no, no. Wait, my dad might be 72. 672. Should I get that sorted out? Because my dad is nine years older than my mom. But my mom isn't six eight. My mom's definitely like sixty two. But definitely, so they're only, over sixty. They're over sixty, over, parents, 70. over seventy. If you said that your parents were like in their fifties, and to his point, you want to go fucking younger and, than your parents. Like, yeah, why, I mean, I don't want to date a fifty year old anyway. Man? Yeah. Um. I. I mean, I, <laughs> on like a vein level, I think they're hot. Okay. <laughs> daddy. Yeah. Yeah. You want that daddy? Um. Gang. I don't. I don't. Call her Zaddy. <laughs> Not that. Oh, yes, no. <laughs> um, I don't know. I've just always like found myself drawn to them and also found um to some degree that they are the people that are most drawn to me. Interesting. Can I, can I say something? You just scream groom me. <laughs> yeah. There's something? something about me that screams mistress for yeah, sure. It's the corsets. Can yeah. I say something <laughs> potentially controversial and sure. I don't know if it's sexist or just uh, will it kind of expose me for being a lazy probably yes lover things, whatever just say it <laughs> lazy like as a guy in as a guy in his thirties uh-huh. um, allegedly <laughs> like so I, so we've heard so we've heard if your competition is a dude in his twenties you're gonna fucking win because your bare minimum is like light years ahead of like a guy in his twenties is. Bare minimum. Bare minimum right? in terms of so any romance? Sort, any sort of, I think he's any, talking about... Oh. Any sort of gesture. Yeah. Right. Anything. Like, whether it's, like, like any sort of, like, thoughtfulness, any sort of, like, actual act of kindness mm-hmm. is... If you're just like, yeah, this is just, like, what I do, it's because, like... You're talking about competing against homeless skaters. <laughs> exactly. It's like, yeah, I put on a fucking deodorant. But, it, but No, it's true. It's yeah, true. Yeah. Like, they treat the me a lot different. better. Right. Yeah, it's like, like oh, in the actually, way, you know... I'm actually going to pay for this, or I'm actually, like, going to do this, like, you know, kind of random act of kindness... Yeah. Um, this is a conversation I've had with multiple times with Asher at the Big Hog. So uh, anyway, that's that's kind of my do you meet met just like out. Yeah, I guess so. I don't really go guys that like frequent the haunts that you do, like in Dime Square or whatever. Um, generally through like mutual friends mm, is how awesome. it happens. Um, I don't really go on dating apps anymore. You're not a Raya. I am, but I don't really like use it. Bad experiences. I've just, I've literally never gone on a Raya date oh, and sure. I've been paying for Raya for years. Who's the biggest celebrity you've seen on Raya besides me? I don't know. The coolest. Have you guys seen each other on Raya? <laughs> no. 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 The the coolest person I probably saw was, um. Diplo. <laughs> <laughs> would, you, would, you Dip, would you fuck Diplo? Of course I would fuck Who Diplo. Would fuck Diplo? Would, you fuck Diplo? would you fuck John Mayer? I would fuck John Mayer, but that feels like uncouth. To, that feels like wrong. To, he's like too, a couple degrees too close for me to like publicly pro- proclaim that. Diplo, have. I'm not going to meet Diplo anytime soon. Sure. I'll fucking fuck Diplo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you want to earn that HP. <laughs> <laughs> you know Diplo is fucking. Yeah, 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 Wait, yeah. you were about to say someone famous or cool on Raya. You know what? And I was gonna say it, and then I literally can't remove, remember what movie he made. Okay. So I'm, I'm. Oh, director. It was a director. It was Ari Aster. Oh, Ari Aster did Hereditary and Midsummer. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Um, okay. A new movie now. I literally watched Midsummer yesterday. Um, really? but that would again for the, like, neither well, one of those movies no, are why I though. know him. Yeah, Ari Aster is he hot? Honestly, just by his name sounds hella Jewish. Yeah. I mean, I just like his work. And, <laughs> so your type is... But the who... Fuck, is that... Your type this is, is who I'm Jewish thinking author. of. Your type is, old, your type is older. <laughs> yeah. That's older, all we have so far. yeah. Okay. Let's, let's pull it back to some just general questions. So whether or not the horniest summer of all time has been like... An but over- that shouldn't deter the, the eligible right. young men yeah. that want to court me. The homeless <laughs> skaters. The fucking <laughs> state million fucking sausage meat market. The, stink, right the stinky now. young bucks. <laughs> well, you went to the barbecue. Did you spy any physical attractiveness in your immediate vicinity? I did. Okay. There were yeah. some good looking fellows okay. there. Yeah, right. yeah. what, do you, what do you think of guys who are like, 
into clothes and Ooh. very obviously right. this into is where we're clothes. going now. like this is just the general yeah, jo- yeah, yeah, yeah. john's enthusiasts yeah. as you're, we call you're playing ourselves guru for i mean game. great for them i don't care really it, like it's is it is it uh is it like you're net neutral on that i'm pretty net neutral really? i mean i have a lot of men in my life that like care a lot and i'm just like what? that's good for them sure. great i probably will not keep up in sure. this does but- it make an impression on you I mean, it depends on how much, if that's the only thing they care about, right, then sure. I, which is like a rule, generally speaking, like you should never just have one. Hobby. Yeah. 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 So it I can don't only be sports it unless that hobby be... is cunnilingus. <laughs> then, then, <laughs> then that's OK. Then that's the go, one thing you can be crazy, into. Can. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. To the skin. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know. It's like fine. What would you love to see a guy wear on a first date? Yeah. Like what is like an ideal? Oh, whether that's or a good not question. It's an older guy or a young guy. Just like. You know, when you're closing your eyes, you're envisioning like the date before it goes well or before it goes bad. Like what is giving you hope based on just straight up the fit? It, it depends. There's a few ways this could go. OK, let's hear um, I'm probably thinking about the shoes and the top. Interesting. Pants should be good fitting, but I don't really care what they look like. What's the off? ideal pant width these days? Because obviously we're off that skinny shit. Yeah. I mean, I have some men in my life that I love a lot that wear skinny jeans. Really? But they are more like You're friends with Lil Wayne? Yeah. I am. But, but they're, they're gay, is what you're saying. No, they're like all they're like my friends. Like it's Which not so it's not about it, like, it doesn't like traverse it, I I wouldn't traverse that territory. Right, okay. Um, but like they look great in them. So it really is dressing you know, for your body type. Yes. Is is the pants. Yeah, 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 yeah. So okay. like whatever floats your boat. Well, Shirt ideal, wise. Let's talk shirts. Yeah. Let's talk. Shit. I like <laughs> if <title>. you <laughs> if you have a hairy chest, button up a couple buttons undone. Wow. Oh, you Jane. like that? You want some taco meat out in the? Oh, Ooh. yeah, she yeah, literally yeah. just did the whole <laughs> yeah. fucking thing. This is rule. Uh, yeah, chains. No chains. Chains are good. Chains are okay. hot. Okay. Um, like? So it's the summer. And summer loafers. Sh- Loafer. Oh. Loafers. Yeah, Thank loafers. You. All right. Uh, asking for a friend and also myself. Uh, what if they don't have chest hair? Um, Button all the way up. Yeah. <laughs> Air tie. Uh, it depends on how muscular they are. If they're muscular, like tight t shirt. Really? Tight t shirt. Tight t. I used to have this professor that would show up to class in these like really tight sweaters and he was like so buff. And I would just like. So really is showing off the best parts of you. Yes. Yes. Exactly. That's, it. That's exactly. So it. Know, know thyself. And then from there, Reverse engineer the right garment for the pythons, for the taco meat. Totally. For whatever. The totally, spots. totally, totally. Don't yeah. wear flannel. Okay, Ooh, yeah. sure. Don't, don't That's like flannel. a no-go. Oh, here's the good one. Shorts on a date. Because we had Annie I Hamilton don't... on the pod, and she threw all the 18 million at home for a fucking loop because she was yeah. like, absolutely no go. But it's like, what happens if it's a picnic? It was a what podcast. A beach date. And a first date, yeah. and I was wearing shorts, which was very <laughs> Uh, so what do you think about like short like I mean, in short? It depends dinner, on the event. Do do. Yeah, right. It's all case by case. But also de- <laughs> if we're going to the beach, wear shorts. If we're like, uh, like I don't care. Picnic. Don't. We're meeting up in the park. You're meeting up with a guy in the park, and it is a you can first fucking date. wear shorts. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Goots. All right, for the eighteen and million the shorter home, the better. Thank to the you, eighteen million listening thank home you. that were thrown <laughs> into an existential crisis by Annie Hamilton. Can they be short shorts from a podcast? <laughs> they can be short shorts okay, from a podcast. Enough. What's a fit if a guy shows up wearing a fit that's like immediate red flags, mm. like sirens in the head? Like Besides, made a huge mistake. Flannel, you mentioned right? Flannel's not into um um like a like a dirty t-shirt oh just like being like nasty like but yeah you're not into like dirty not boys. into grungy i th- i didn't say i'm not into grunt i don't know i i think i definitely prefer like a clean okay clean mm. cut clean cut yeah Good but i mean like you know i wear like pearls sure, and like sure, sure, high sure. heels yeah, everywhere no i go this is yeah yeah yeah, yeah. The audience who if you know if you know anything about the person you're going on a date with, try to like think extrapolate what they would maybe yeah. want to see. Yeah. Is While dating, still being yourself. Is dating in New York City as like a young, the most eligible bachelor south of 14th Street, like Bachelorette. is it Bachelorette? Is it trash? Like because you met you you tweeted out. I definitely go on dates. Yeah. I don't like I, I've like gone on dates since I've last successful. fucked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I haven't. You did tweet out recently, just being like, yo, who the fuck's gonna get me a seafood tower yeah, at yeah. Balfi's? Uh-huh. Someone <laughs> Hit you up. Someone we talking about this. Yes. And I was like, Goots, go. I know. I actually go for the seafood tower. Yeah. You're in a public place. He's not gonna fucking murder you. 
right? Uh, but you're not you going to get John Lennon in front of Keith McNally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's not going to fucking. Uh, but you you bailed at the last minute. I did. Why'd I did bail. bail. Um, honestly, I was just like having a mental breakdown from work. Mm. I like over, oh, it had nothing to do with. Like, it had I'm nothing to do. No, no, no. Whatever, I was yeah. like, I really wanted that seafood tower and to go <laughs> on this date with this stranger that was going to buy me one. And the fact that I had successfully crowdsourced to someone sure. to buy me a seafood tower That's like was a nice sick. Ego yeah, stroke, yeah, yeah, for sure. yeah. Do you think you would have gone for the for the the grand or the petite? You know Ooh. what? I don't know. I it's probably like eighty five and like one hundred two people. You know, well, it's like eighty five. I think I would have. I think I would have gone for the small. Like yeah. you know, he is taking me out. Oh, because you're because you're classy. You know? Yeah. And too many oysters. That's too many African. And like, shacks, listen, you know? I can buy forty. Yeah. I can buy <laughs> my <laughs> own table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can buy my own grand seafood right, tower sure, when I want. Right. That's, that's what it's about. It's not about yeah. you finessing a guy. It was kind of like it was like I want a seafood tower and I want someone to buy it because I'm always buying the seafood tower. It was a little like a kind of like a print princess tantrum yeah I it like was that. it was it was a total princess tantrum <laughs> but i didn't go because i overworked myself that day i didn't eat i didn't really sleep um i didn't take a single break and then you know i pushed the date back and then is, around is the, the date gonna happen yeah, did you reschedule we did not reschedule at the moment because i don't really have time right now until the issue comes out right, right did right. you know who this person was i did not know who this person was from, did he follow you yeah. on socials like he asked to take me out to dinner he slid in my dms asking to take me out to dinner and i said sure like i love dinner way. with a stranger <laughs> yeah. i just and tweeted then, out that, and uh, then like two days later i posted um seafood tower tweet seafood tower and as it's known and <laughs> seafood tower on just computer seafood tower tweet <laughs> <laughs> i put seafood tower <laughs> on a computer <laughs> That's exactly what I did. I put Seafood Tower on computer. Yeah. And then he uh, slid back in my DMs. Oh, he re-slid. He re-slid saying, I was thinking Blue Ribbon Sushi, but a Seafood Tower also sounds good. I don't know. Is he basic though? I think he was, uh, he was maybe trying to impress me. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's, I guess it will maybe still happen. For the record, if anyone wants to take me on a date, we do not have to go Balthazar What's Seafood your Tower. Ideal? We do not need Seafood Tower. On I can buy my own Seafood Towers right, at right, the right. end of the day. What's your ideal first date? And let's pretend that the first date has to happen like in and around Dime Square. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Oh, I would never want to go on a date right, in Dime say, like, Square. Is that, isn't that like a nightmare scenario? Because people it, are it, see you. And yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And it's Goots like and who? Yeah, and not relax. not to and not to. It, I mean, it depends like, on oh who my God, going Goots on the date with. Fried prawn heads at servos with John Mayer. Yeah. Yeah. Just like because like I'm not going to pretend like when I'm having fucking brunch with my wife and someone walks up and like recognizes me like I'm like I love that and obviously I'm already married. How do yeah. I feel about that? Uh, I think she actually that's the one thing she finds endearing and, and sweet. The one thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because like if you were on a date with a guy who's already buying you a seafood tower or whatever, and then people are like, you already know. First of all, he already knows what he's getting himself into. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I wonder if that would be like kind of the appeal of dating you as like a public figure. Where I like think are, I could you're, you're see signing that. titties, you know, outside the restaurant. You're doing your whole thing. <laughs> that might be a vibe. I could see that. Shaking babies. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see somebody finding that appealing but maybe for like sure. The person that wants to date you for the wrong reason. But I could also see someone like not being interested in that. But it does come with the territory sure. for sure. Do you have groupies? Oh, yeah, I think. So What's like like me personal yeah yeah, yeah. the the Be good like like Sims? because because Sims. of because of the success of the drug Sims, canal yeah, definitely you have Sims, right do you have simpy groupies? yeah but I've also been online for ages and I'm like you know pretty horny on the internet <laughs> do you so. what's your policy on fucking the groupies no it's a no really yeah. Wow. But right. that being, I have this like, is where we I have like, <laughs> you and James have a uh, different, uh, I have like invited opinions. people to come hang out that are like big fans. And is that more of like a make a wish thing though? No, it was like, <laughs> oh, you really like me. Maybe I'll really like you, you know, males, females. males. Oh, I mean, with females, it's not really my, con like, oh, sure, this? you want to be friends? Like, oh, oh, so we can go is, get coffee. Because there's also like, because that's the other side of the coin, right? Where it's like the 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 simulated friendship, mm -hmm. the parasocial relationships that come with podcasts, influencers, uh, you know, media moguls. 
<laughs> micro, nano, media moguls, whatever. <laughs> not like nano, is that, not nano, na- micro. Mi- we can go with micro. We're going to go with micro. Yeah. Uh, is that, that's cool though? Like that's tight. You like that? Like me- making like a new girlfriend that just wants to be like down. To me, that seems like more clout demonish. Well, like I said, like, I do keep people at an arm's length right, for a right. little bit. Yeah. Um, and, uh, but I did like invite some guy to hang out and then it was just like, oh, I'm not like to into it to a party. And, and then, it? yeah, I was just sort of not into that. I hate it had to be you, homie. And then I think that, and then I think I just Damn. decided that that's that. What's the most like extreme simp behavior that someone has exhibited towards you? Um, I don't know. Big Venmo like send. Okay. The other day, Claire, like but, when okay, I was on real, my way to this funeral. Real quick. What is oh. your Venmo for anyone yeah, yeah. that wants to Venmo? Oh, oh. This is a simp game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone wants simp, to Venmo me, me if app? anyone wants to Venmo me, um, it's drunken goots. Drunken, drunken goots. goots. That's easy to remember. Um, um, Venmo. But the other day, so I knew like, like, I love it, Venmo. dude. I love yeah. people getting a- a- Venmo. Annie was on the pod and like dropped her Venmo and she got like several hundred dollars. One guy sent her Three hundred dollars. Oh my god! If anyone wants to send me, well, we should make money on Venmo. Goots any amount of money. I will like put a shout out. But someone Venmo the- Claire, Claire, yeah, someone Venmo Claire like six nine bucks to like get you to a funeral. No, Claire? no, no. Okay, so oh, no, so okay, <laughs> so my friend was having a <laughs> Vegas themed birthday party. I couldn't go because I had to go to a funeral mm-hmm. in California, which is where I came back from. And as a joke, we were like, fuck, like, you know, we were drunk. I was not really processing my emotions. I was like, how do I get out of going to this Hell funeral? Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't have time to like deal with this. I don't want to deal with it. Like, let's, let me get out of this funeral. Obviously yeah. I didn't. I went, I'm really glad I went. It was a beautiful time, even though it was like very hard. Sure. Um, but we posted as a joke, like, uh, Claire posted like you know uh, get goods to Vegas like mm. my Venmo is and then someone sent her $69 for you nice yeah but then I like went and did my research and he doesn't even follow me so I think it was more of a Claire oh sim. he was trying to I think Claire has Claire more sense than I do right? yeah. yeah so yeah, he was yeah. barking up the wrong tree he was barking way, up the wrong tree huh interesting but yeah. you guys have the point is that you guys have groupies but your stance is don't fuck the groupies her stance is no, she's no. Get their, get their Her stance is uh, she's get, pay, get, she, get paid. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Get that fucking bag. Get paid and go to dinner with my boyfriend. Chase that bag, dude. This is yeah. a very uh, this is misplaced in the run of show. I forgot to copy or cut and paste this elsewhere. Uh, what's your favorite thing about working with Claire? <laughs> oh, that's such a good question. Thanks. I want a Pulitzer. Um, she she is really funny. She's a great time. She makes like. You know, she makes money on her Venmo. <laughs> she yeah. makes money. On, no, like our meetings, it's like going to wine bars and like sitting mm. in the corner with our notebooks. Uh, love Lawrence, that. this is what we should do. Yeah, and it's just, it's a, just, it makes. Card? We do have a corporate card. Nice, totally. It's great. Um, we do, which we use to like pay for like expenses. Uh, sure, drugs. expenses. <laughs> yeah, guys, we don't make as much money as you. We can't be buying drugs with our corporate card. <laughs> Well, oh, who would ever do something like that? <laughs> to be clear, we get cash out of the ATM with our corporate <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, we we hypothetically, if James and I were going to use a corporate card to buy drugs, we would go to an ATM. Right, he wouldn't our, swipe yeah, square. No. What, our, our, account, our drug dealer doesn't take fucking <laughs> stripe. Our, our, our account is like Hypothet- our hypothetical drug dealer doesn't carry yeah. around stripe. Our hypothetical account is like what the fuck are all these two fifty ATM charges? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> bro, bring back the gold standard. Yeah. Yeah. So, Stock market isn't real. Yeah. You and Claire, like, it's still fun to do the job together. Yes, that's like the best thing. Like that. That's the best. That's know. the best thing. What's the worst thing about working Ooh. with Claire? Because we are a negative podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not gonna say that on oh, on the on. podcast. She's not an hour and Claire's thirty two minutes in. Like, Shout out, Claire. How's her dead tooth doing? It's dead still tooth? dead. Yeah, damn, that's, that did not get resuscitated. There's, there's no did dental. Not get there's resuscitated. No on, on fucking, uh, uh, yeah, we don't have. Yeah, yeah. 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 Should she come on the pod? Payment plan. She uh, should. Sure. Okay. Yeah, she should. Oh, okay. I, don't, I don't know if you'll get her. Really? Oh, yeah. she's hard. She's harder. To, is she harder to book than you? Yes. Really? Yeah. Huh. Damn. 
She's a because little bit of a she diva. no, she just <laughs> values her time in oh, a way. She's a Div- bitch. Oh, <laughs> she values her time. You in don't it. value your time, which is why you're on the only podcast. No, I value Not my great. time, but I'm willing to give it to a lot of other people at the like sake of myself. Cool. Cool. Like we're friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the opportunity to like really hang out and like get to know and meet. Exactly, we, we met but that's Claire because briefly like briefly at Winnie's, we bought her multiple drinks, but mm-hmm. didn't really get to know her. Now. Yeah, she I mean that was hard. Yeah, that was also a hard place to get to know someone. Lawrence put down the corporate card and goes give me every cold highlight i know i know that <laughs> was so it felt like rick ross it was cool i mean that <laughs> was the cool. smart way give me every yeah. $3 see, $3 see that's what i mean when i'm like talking about throwing the party on friday like that's something we like kept under wraps too really and we, and we still blew up the spot yeah for that was a banger yeah that was a that was fun, fun time yeah that um, rooftop party that got shut down by well, the multiple yeah we went to multiple parties yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That that was was a, awesome. we, rec- we recounted this all honestly i will i did listen to that episode oh you did i will say that to you are you a patron uh, i am a patron really <laughs> yeah i subscribe. I subscribe i will say that was an, and i have to thank you and and by extension claire as well and i'm just speaking for myself i don't really like get out like that anymore as a, mm-hmm. a married man a father of one dog um but, <laughs> but but that was one of those nights where they had to uh uh james and, and, and chef one of our groms had to really convince me to come out and i had such a good time oh i'm so, so glad and so fucking cool because of you. I'm so glad. Like, oh, that I, and that's all I have left. Like, oh, I don't have anything. Lawrence is like, yo, I met Raph. <laughs> oh, Rafa, right. Rafa, Rafa, Rafa. Yeah, oh my God, you Rafa. got. <laughs> like Raph Simmons, yeah, I met, I met Ralph. Yeah, I met Rafa, that was great. Yeah, it was yeah, a good time. Yeah, thought, he's cool. awesome. Listen, for one night a year, a boy can dream. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? And, and if there's anything I'm good at, it's providing a dream. Yeah. <laughs> Goods, how much money do you make? <laughs> I have no, I have no comment. No yeah. comment. Yeah. Right. How much money I plead the like fifth. What's yeah? Is there a number where you're just like, look, if I can like attain yeah. this, then you're not going to sell I'm the drunk. Happy. Happy. You're gonna put a price if on I that, can but... make four thousand dollars a month, I'll be happy. Really? That's it. So what is that? What's wait? Four? That's forty eight thousand dollars a year. I mean, I was making thirty seven at my old job. Our first job, we were making like under forty two. Yeah, but that was also like twenty five years ago. <laughs> Infl- <laughs> okay, okay, doggy. okay. I mean, that's the just stock like, market is real. <laughs> I mean, okay, if I could be making, if I could be making six and a half thousand. Okay, I'm now not. you upped it up. What is it? That's seventy. Like, that's close to a uh, hundred k. Seventy two, yeah. right? What is that? Is that what's the math? I'll no, do it's close to hundred k. I don't me. know. I just, I just, but I'm um, far huh, from that. What do you spend your money on? Besides, like one dollar, one euro. That's seventy eight thousand dollars. Um, yeah, that's that's. That'd be banging for you. That'd be nice. That'd be comfortable. Really, okay. respect. Oh, you don't want. Well, you don't want to. I mean, I would like a lot more, but I'm thinking you, things that are feasible. You don't want to sound greedy. Yeah, I mean, I would love twenty thousand dollars a month. You shouldn't. You, you dare to dream a little bigger, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. What do you like to spend your money on? Yeah. Um, is it eating out? Is it's it, eating out. Is it the ATM fees? And why? Non comped meals. Yeah. My uh, current favorite wine. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, someone left you like a real tasty half of a tasty bottle of something natty. Oh, right? yeah. That was awesome. I got so drunk was, because was of that. that? Like, did that, whoever left that to you, did he like. Was he just like, oh, those girls look like they're having a good time? Wait, sorry. Like, those are the drunk canals. Someone girls. was like, I'm done with this bottle of wine. Yeah. I'm going to send it over to them. <laughs> Which is fucking swag, That's awesome. Dude. He was like, I he was like, get kicked yeah. out of a place where I'm eating off someone's yeah. plate. Yeah. He, he, drinking he, their backwash. He, he was like, was yo, like, it's a sushi roll. They, yeah. they didn't touch these four he, pieces. He yeah, was normally like, it's frowned upon. He was like, I'm leaving. Um, I didn't finish this bottle of wine. Do you guys want it? Meanwhile, we have like half a bottle of wine left. And we were like, yeah, okay. Sick. And then just got so He was just feeling your vibe. I think so. I think also older he's an so, older man. Oh, you already know, baby. <laughs> what, are you, what are you currently slurping on? Um, you know wise. And I really like a gruner. I re- ooh, ooh, funky. Yeah, yeah, I like things funky and like not sweet. Make that shit taste like a foot. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Like the more uh, like herbal, but not like floral. Sure. The better. Love and that. things that are, I don't really like a sweet wine. I want mm. it. No. Not for me either. It, it make, no. I need my wine to wake me up and i find that if it's like carbonated or if it's like funky and intense it oh, does a like, good job it like wakes up my taste buds yeah, yeah, and yeah. therefore my brain sure 
Makes you fucking think. Are you a big espresso martini fan? I am, but I'm, I think I'm trying to quit coffee right now. Really? Yeah, my anxiety's been off the charts these days. It, and it, sometimes it. I drink a coffee and feel like the world's ending. That sucks. So I've just been, I've been going to, I've been going tea. I've been going Diet Coke mode, so which is not, going, which is oh, not, yeah, Diet Coke. not <laughs> which is not, mode. no, it's not healthy, but For it's getting, mode. it's getting me off of um, coffee so in the meantime. Coffee but, might go the way of weed then for you. Yeah. The way of the dinosaur. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Wine, eating out. What else are you spending your money on? John's gear? Because you fucking geared up, dude. I know you like your Yeah, vintage. but I don't really like. Vintage. I don't really vintage. like. Vintage. I don't really buy things that much. I just have like a good collection. Oh, you have a solid. The That's aesthetic. not true. There, I, yeah. there is a very like uh, specific goose aesthetic. There is. There totally is. It's like vintage, but in t- not in like just like Depop, right? It's kind of like. Oh, it's intentional. It's like fancy. Yeah. Late Ooh. 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. Somebody somebody described me as like, I look like I'm always like I'm a lady that's going out to lunch. Ooh. Like that's the perpetual like that. vibe. Right. You look like you, you look like you are um, an important a uh, person at night openings like at a, a, at a, 19, girl at a 1998 the 1998 red carpet yeah oh the most powerful gallery girl that runs yeah, exactly the door. Like you <laughs> wow have i'll take on, that yeah you have yeah, yeah. Headset on and you're making shit happen you got but you're also gonna go board. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 uh are people do or do you see or do you perceive people downtown because you are this kind of personality of note this cult of personality with a strong personal style do, are people biting your fucking swag do you see that be real Oof. I don't know, but I mean, but yes. maybe, but um, I something funny did happen one time, which is like this girl, like pearls are, you know, they're like a signature for pearls me for the girls. And this girl recently posted on Instagram <laughs> being like, why would anyone wear pearls in 2021? Like, that's so weird. Ooh, and that was like the only time I've ever gotten in like a fight on Instagram. She but she was talking about you. Of course she was. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I knew it. And so I like screenshotted it and reposted it wow. and was like, because I fucking want to or something. Put that like, hoe on blast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, <laughs> and then, um, fuck him. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if people bite my style. Would you be would you be flattered if you did see someone who was like doing Goots cosplay low key? <laughs> sure. Okay. Goots core. <laughs> yeah. Goots core. Goots core. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Goots. Yeah. yeah. What are you paying rent? Yeah, what's your rent? I'm not gonna say that. Really? I'm not gonna say that. Yeah. Why? That's fine. That was the last question of the other <laughs> <Yeah, that was laughs> <nice. laughs> We should probably stop asking this question. Someone is like, yo, this is the quintessential like New York questions. People are like, what's your rent? Instead of like asking how much money you make. Um yeah. we're gonna stop asking Which that. Maybe it's too personal. Yeah, I don't Instead, know. Instead, whatever. We've said our fucking rent. We've seen you make your fucking moves, the goots moves. We've seen you <laughs> do what goots do. Um <laughs> the goots is loose. We're fans, we're friends, we're motherfucking family at this point. Uh mm-hmm. we want to see you do even better. Even if you are not into selling the drug canal, like <clears throat> we're gonna change your mind on that. Mm-hmm. Um we want to see you do even we want to see you thrive harder, right? So we're gonna offer right. some constructive criticism real quick. Okay, let's hear it. Take it or leave it. Mm-hmm. Um, Take it though, please. Anyone oh that's left it otherwise has died and perished, uh-huh. broke. Oh my God, Very slow, agonizing say? death. Yeah. Everyone that's taken it is now fucking at the Olympics right now. Okay, let's um, hear it. So, first piece of critical criticism. So, you mentioned uh, that you're going to open up the Drunken Canal merch. Right. My original piece of contractual criticism was going to be do merch. Just do merch. Yeah. yeah. Who do you know that fucking kills the merch game? <laughs> that fucking does spawn con like no other. Mm-hmm. You're talking to them. Are right they now. sitting Hire at this us table? To model in the Drunken Canal lookbook. Oh, uh, a collab. I thought we maybe going to call. We can do a collab. Well, that could work too. Not my constructive criticism, maybe too hard, but uh, yeah, a little collabiotion. Yeah, that's good. Appeal to yeah. the whole demographic. Nothing like yeah. two, <laughs> you get all your thirty-five-year-old men to really appeal to the, the real time square yeah. demographic. Listen, we have a huge following. That's like thirty-five-year-old media men. Oh well, yeah, it's us and Ben Smith. <laughs> Yeah, if, when we and do every when, other uh, one, when we do model in your lookbook, we are going to make uh, huge model the demands on photoshopping our like necks, our yeah. like double chins out. And, yeah, like, I'll model make the shit out of less rat make us size look, tees. Yeah, dude. make us look less bald. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, but other than that, just fucking hire us to do, to model your shit. Yeah. Great. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, Jot it. Is that it? That's, That's mine. Yeah. Pieces. Okay. Oh. Okay. Here's oh my mine. god. Two pieces of constructive criticism. You're welcome. Oh, I mean, You're welcome. <laughs> 
Come on, man. This okay, is okay. the right and the left brain, the yin and the yang. All right, all right. So, Gooch, you've done a bunch of pods. You did the Ion Pack. You did When's This Gone? And now you're doing the only podcast that matters. And you, first of all, anyone who's listening to this, you fucking killed this shit. Oh, you are thank a fucking you. living legend. I'm sure those other performances <laughs> With Claire were amazing as well. Why not launch the Drunken Canal podcast arm? I want to hear you and Claire every week, weekly, chopping it up, fucking just girls being fucking dudes. Give right me that tea, Queen. <laughs> right in my fucking earphones. I mean, come on, we're talking about opening up revenue streams. Seems like an obvious extension, no brainer, of the Patreon. I would love a fucking Drunken Canal podcast. I'm just speaking, no, I selfishly, girl. I'm just saying that, girl. That's it. It's it's people have brought people people have brought that up to us. So you're saying it's you've heard it before. It's um, it's good to hear it again. Yeah, of course, especially coming. And I will think about it. Yeah. To be clear, there's only one podcast that matters, but. It would but be we nice. could make one that matters a and little bit. Also, it would be like, nice to have some another you, uh, worthy competitor. I know you don't need right. more work on your plate, but I mean, like, you're clearly good at potting. And I imagine Claire is as well. So it's like, that's free money, dude. Right. Like, we get that Patreon bus. We bus should in. be in jail with the amount of money we make versus the amount uh, of work that we it's, <laughs> it's, it's embarrassing. It's truly yeah. really embarrassing. It's like the opposite for us. <laughs> right. So I'm just saying something to think about. Because yeah. you clearly have a knack for it. Well, thank you. You know, a face you had, for radio. You had the microphone. A face for radio. Position the whole time. Yeah. I'm. Um, yeah. Are we going to see a drunken canal podcast anytime in the near future? Yeah, I don't know. It seems like you're on the. Fence. Yeah. It seems <laughs> like you are not going to take this piece of advice home with you. And it's I I it's a um, fans definitely would love it. Bro. It's a long discussion because I just worry about taking too much credit for the brand. What about? But think about but all the, the brand, guests you could have. Think about every contributor that. Is killing it in the fucking like we could have them on the pod. Well, every and this is how you this is how you put every contributor yes. on. Where it's like, yo, that's a good idea. Platform. That's a good idea. We, we become the new bar stool. Oh, sorry, yeah. that's a so that's a sore <laughs> spot. <laughs> Never bar heard of her. Dime Square. Listen, dime maybe, maybe we can sign sports. you guys. <laughs> uh, what's up with the Dime Square Sports section? <laughs> Um, that kind of fizzled. There yeah. was one though. Yeah. You yeah. did a whole bracket for March Madness, I remember. Which yeah, I Claire did that was. one. It was yeah. so good. Was <laughs> right brain, left brain. You could have a uh, fucking streetwear stickers on your laptop, like my guy. <laughs> <Don't laughs> over here. <laughs> Listen, bro, I need a new laptop. Okay, don't fucking. I, every time I bring the laptop out, it gets made fun of. It's very embarrassing. This one is. Stop. Is it? What is this one? Shut the fuck up. Stop talking about my phone. I don't even know what that one is. Which one? Anyway. This one. I like this one. I like the free your mind. Oh, Yo, is that a weed? Is that weed? Yeah, those. I, yeah, these are. I'm embarrassed. All right. This is really bad. All right. Claire, where this can is we our merch? This, this is our merch. Goots. Goots. Yeah. Thank you for coming on to the only podcast that matters. Thank you for having me. Where can the kids follow you on socials? Yeah. Um, you can What's follow. What's the TikTok? Uh, <laughs> I will Drunk not plug goots. the TikTok. Okay. Um, but you can Drop follow me on Instagram at. Goots. Okay. Just G U T E S. I paid a guy 40 bucks for it. Oh, really? Sick. Like yeah, three like guy. three or four years ago. Was he a fellow what Ukrainian? A no, he's uh Spanish. His last name is Gutierrez. Oh. oh. Just an early adopter. Yeah, he also went is it by Graciano Goots. And Gutierrez? No. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, you can follow me at Goots on Instagram. Goots on IG. On Twitter, it's estate. public Goots. Mm. All public is there a private Goots? goots? There, there is, is right? a private Goots. What's what's going on over there? It's like more like an OnlyFans thing. It's like a low key OnlyFans Jeez. thing. <laughs> I was trying to get people to Venmo me to access it. Do you want to? Do you want to put that? Yeah, if, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want access to private goods, drunken goods on Venmo to get access to, to private goods. Yeah. yeah. What's See, a, this really is a fucking media empire. <laughs> I have them all covered: public, private, a, drunken. Yeah. <laughs> Shit is a house oh, of cards. The yeah. three genders. Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, and then obviously the drunk canal. Uh, what's the Patreon? Patreon.com slash the the Drunken Canal. The Drunken Canal. We also know. just launched a web store where we really? are selling some old issues. Nice. I saw that. Um, is that where we're going to see the merch? That's where you're going to see the merch, which is just the Drunken Canal.com. Nice. The the is very important to me, which is why it's everywhere. Uh, can I give you some advice? Drop yeah. the the. No, I love no, it. I love the the. I love the the. Keep the the. Goots, thank, Goots, you, thank you so much. Thank Thanks. you for having me, you we guys. Appreciate you. Um, what, do you, what do you want your outro music to be? Is it going to be John Mayer? Oh, yeah. No, right? No, What's no. going to be? Yeah, what do you want your outro music to be? Do you have a go-to karaoke song? Um, You know what? On my way to the airport, mm-hmm. um, my Uber driver 
was playing the radio and Dancing Queen by ABBA came on and he goes, oh my God, it's your song. He just knew. And I was like, how do you know that? So why don't we do Dancing Queen? Dancing Queen, ABBA. Dancing Queen, it fucking is. Yeah. I'm going to need you to slap on that pop megastar group from Sweden. Sweden. Thank you for coming up. Thank you. you.